drop them. Back up the charge. Carry the back door. And we not tap man way. We just not pay for money, bro. We can't go real select to real so. We make real money. Call the select like that you're trying. Just leave the police. Hey, what is up, everybody, and welcome to the Stylist League, episode 67. My name is Mike Thompson. Uh, I Before I bring on Bradley, before I bring on our special guest, James, today's episode is a cautionary tale. I just want to let you guys know, be careful what you wish for, because I thought I wanted to bring on a top-level sculptor, illustrator, art director, and and I thought that that would help Bradley and I out. Like the rising tide kind of rises all boats, raises all boats, right? That's what I thought. No, James came on, and when you see what he has done in this short amount of time, with one eye, you will be amazed. Anyway, that being said, Bradley, good morning, my friend. Good morning, good morning. Don't make that face. Don't make that face. You're wide awake. I know you're wide awake. What James could do is that he can take his file, right? And delete it. Delete it. Just delete it. Like I don't know. What, what I need, what I need James to do is to take the file, right? And use that secret, secret ZBrush hidden feature called delete all. All right. Delete, delete it. And just start well, over. Not even all of it. Maybe just a little bit of it. Just enough yeah, of it like, to make like, it even or close the other eye for a little while yeah, and yeah. how about that? How about that? Yeah, and, you know, how about he just keep the head? He should just keep the head. Keep the head. Just the rest of it is too much. It's too much. When you guys see this, you're not even prepared for this, is what they're I'm not. telling you. They're not. Okay. I'm not. Anyway, that being said, let's bring James on. James, where are you hey, at? Hi. <laughs> it's having a good laugh there, sorry, James. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Just keep the head. Just keep the it's head. not fair. I don't right, you don't okay, hear, we'll you don't usually you know. hear me complaining about things being fair or not. It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it a good time to tell you I've been testing the new ZBrush AI um with it with you? Just so <laughs> it's all been a prank. Okay, I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, we, we also have Raul today supporting us. What's hey, up, what's up, guys? Always a pleasure being with the bad boys of modeling. Mm, mm, I thought I was bad. I'm, I'm yeah, just, I'm, no, all right. No, I was talking no. about James, but yeah, no, that's oh, okay. <laughs> I'm definitely bad, but probably not in the right way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know where to start. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like, what are we doing? What are we doing? How, well, okay, so how's everybody's week? First, let's, okay, because I can't wait to show this thing that James did. So how's everybody's week, first of all? Let's get that out of the way. 
so far. Before James, I know you've been having a terrible week. You want to start with? Yeah. You want to start with? Yeah, well, it was I'm bad and then it got good. Yeah. Let's try and keep it short. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I had a bad week. Uh, I had uh, well, as you know, from last week, I had a problem with my eye, which deteriorated quite badly at the start of the week. So um, it's much better now, as hopefully you can see. It's not. It's much better. Uh, I got the drugs I needed. Um, but uh, yeah, it was as we say over here, squeaky bum time in, at the start of the week. Um, it was in the hood too, man. Sorry, that's what we say in the hood. Yeah, yeah. Is it what you said? Squeaky bum time. Yeah. Thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, squeaky um, bum time. Uh, that translates quite well then. Uh, yeah, so uh, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Um, and so I've been sculpting kind of with one eye, which is actually funny enough. You don't, you only need one eye with ZBrush anyway. If I was a traditional sculptor, I have the depth perception problem, but because we all sculpt on a 2D, on a flat surface, we're all right. I learned that this week as well. Um, so yeah, it's been a bit of a terrible week, but I think I've rescued it. I think I've managed to turn it around. Let me tell you something. James bodied us with one eye. Hashtag one, one eye tied <laughs> behind his back, son. Yeah, one eye. One eye. yeah. All right. All right. Raul, how was your week? My week was great, man. Um, just a lot of work, doing a lot of stuff for, for the league. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully everybody's been in, in, enjoying the, the time-lapse shorts that have been coming out. Um, one of the things we're going to do is we're going to put them together once, um, I, uh, once all the time lapses uh, come out. We're going to put them all together and we're going to create one video. So uh, don't feel like you have to go back and, and watch each individual one. Um, but yeah, a lot of a lot of really good activities over here. A lot, a lot of good support playing that uh that new Call of Duty. So uh, yeah, and got it actually had a blast hanging out with the the Discord community yesterday. So yeah, um, yeah, we were yeah. in there for a while. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, Bradley, on. how about you? Uh, before before today, um, uh huh, uh huh. I was feeling okay, you know. Uh -huh, my birthday's uh -huh. my birthday's tomorrow, you know. Is it? And oh, James, yeah. James, James want me to feel like shit. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday. Thanks, James. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. Take that tomorrow, with you. Man. You know, he's like, you know what? You know what, Bradley? Take this ass whipping while you go celebrate. Take your it birthday. with you. We haven't even got mm. your cake either. There you go. Mm. <laughs> yeah, take, there you take, go. Take, take that ass whipping <laughs> on your way. That's go right. Go up a little bit. <laughs> Enjoy it. Enjoy it. <laughs> but yeah, I had, a, I had a good week. I'm excited. Uh, so for my I'm, my birthday is tomorrow. And nice. I plan to all week finish some uh, backlog of personal work, play a little Call of Duty, see a little Black Adam. Maybe we can fit a day stream, Mike, sometime next week. Yeah. Uh, yeah if you guys want to see that, let, let us know and, you know, drop us some ideas on a time slot. But uh, is, is it yeah. a big one? Is it a big we bird? It is. I I think it's it's the last of the threes, right? Last of yeah, like I'm big. 39. Like it's gonna be the last the last before you know, before you know I'm yeah. I'm Mike. Before it all goes you know? gray, mate. Before, before it all. I know it, I'm Mike. Or falling out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. You, know, you should be, you should be so lucky. Yeah. You should be so lucky. Yeah. You know, yeah. when I around like you know, I feel like I haven't lived enough. Like because when Mike was my age, he was on like Coke commercials and shit. So you know, <laughs> this is true. That is I, have, I haven't done enough. I haven't done enough. <laughs> if, if you can look this pretty when you get this age, then you've won. You've won the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Awesome. Well, my week was good too. All right. So now, James. Um, <laughs> let's, uh, How's your week, Mike? How was it? Let's not rush you. How was your yeah, week? Well, uh, it was good. It was good, man. Every everybody's fine. Everybody's doing well. My my kids are are doing well. Um. My uh, my daughter got a, got a couple of, of, of awesome job offers right out of college, so that's exciting. Um, my 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 son is getting speeding tickets, so that's not so good. But um, uh, yeah, who does everything else know. is good. <laughs> good. Well, uh, but before we hop into it, I do want to acknowledge everybody that's in chat. Ram, uh, the Brad, another great day to hang out with the crew. Um, we, we also have, um, we have Shane on the stream, uh, attentive slug, uh, mini chick studios. Hi guys. Um, we I really have, wish you would click their names. I, 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 well, I, okay. I think you already did those though up top, but Sura deep. Hello, Mike, Bradley, James, and Raul. Happy early birthday from B. 
Katri. Hey guys, thanks Katri for joining the stream. Yeah. Now let's get into it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, um, I did. Uh, I did do a really fun stream um, uh, for Wacom this week with a school in uh, in Canada. Yeah, and that was pretty kids, awesome. Kids and the energy was amazing. So go to my Instagram and you can see pictures of uh, of them. Everybody was fantastic. If anybody from the class is in today, thank you for joining. I know we said we were going to get some sub some subs from them. And uh, and I might even be going to uh, to the Great White North to to do an in person one of these days. So that'd be fun. Oh, okay. Yeah, bring your whole um, family. Don't come back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. This is my take best. You while you can. Take, take you this while you can. Buddy. No, no, no. Like, like like take take you. Over. I would. I'm like, hey, Mike, I gotta go to Canada. I'm taking my whole family. I'm not coming back. Nice, nice. Okay. Hey, listen, uh, listen. We'll we'll see. I'll wait until around election time, and then we'll let you know. Anyway, all right, Brad. All right. <laughs> Bradley, yeah, we have James on. Did you know we have yeah. James on? Let's yes, let's 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 I'm switch here. the Hello. screen. <laughs> let's switch to the screen. James, why don't you why don't you let yeah, just before yeah, before no. people see this, you're you're not ready for this. No. Just saying. Okay, go ahead. You sure? Everybody. Yeah. Go, go Everybody. Ahead, one eye. eye. We can just one, one, eye. one eye. Go ahead and show it to him. One, one, one eye, everyone. One eye. Look at this. One Look eye. at this. This is not how you treat your hosts, everybody. <laughs> This is a bad guest. This is a prime example of a bad Let's guest that comes on. Give us a little bit of, of that. Uh, give, us, give, us, give it a show. Yeah, yeah, give, us a, give, give, us, give us a, a show. Give, give it a tour. Yeah, let, let, let's like... Oh, gosh, dude. Now, just because you, you have... That looks amazing in, in that color. Can you turn off the color and put on a gray so we can just see all the detail you have going on there? Oh, my gosh, dude. There's it's one eye he did high frequency guys. on that, but um, yeah. There you go. So I've still got to work on the hair. Uh, lots of you did all that asymmetrical, and... like all the body stuff asymmetrical. Yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You so, saw him do it. It wasn't even a. He didn't even start from a freaking base mesh. He did that from like a, a spear. I so wish you were nicer, yeah. James. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you work hard one day, you're gonna make it, James. One of these days. <laughs> That's Thanks, all. guys. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, That's last crazy. week you saw me do the, the, do the eagle. Actually, that took me a bit longer than I thought, but um, it was I had a bit of fun with that. But uh, in the meantime, like to get these panels, um, I paint, you just, I took the anatomy that I'd done and then you just, I just painted, used poly paint to paint out these panels. And then you just go to mask, uh, you go to um, mask and mask by intensity, and then you can actually mask out and extract those panels. And then I just use the um, slice tool to get these rib this ribbing sort of to, and, and just we dye the meshed it. Yeah. Um, the boot I did, I took, what I did is I actually took her leg off and started a new tool with it. Uh, mm -hmm. Z tool, and then I, I sort of straightened it out, and then I sculpted that, and then I reposed it, uh, brought it back in, and reposed it. Um, uh, you can do that with folders, by the way. If you've got something in a folder from another tool, you can actually copy it and paste it into another tool, which is quite useful. Um, that's something fairly new. Um, mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, quite that's quite a cool thing. Um, yeah, and so I've done the portrait as well. Uh, let's just try and zoom in on that. So that was quite fun um kind of done that out of my head as well so i'm quite happy with that um i haven't um a lot of the time i'll use like um a, a bit of reference but i've tried to well i guess i've had a bit of reference with the comic books but i wanted to come up with my own version of anderson right. so um i kind of started it and then i've just moved it about until i've found something i'm happy with really it's pretty much my thing with portraits but this was done this was done asymmetrically first so i'll build up the, the areas first and then i'll put it on and i'll so i'll probably finish it about halfway um symmetrically and then i'll put it on to the sculpt and then i'll finish it on uh, sim, uh asymmetrically nice. on the sculpt um so it actually even, changes quite a lot from the symmetrical version even that steer skull that is from the dark judge is like that's a scan that's a scan. Sorry, oh, I was going okay. to get okay. to that. Oh, I thank stole God. that from right. scan. I was hoping something in there wasn't yours. Okay, good enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I took from a okay. museum website. Um, yeah, so this is actually Judge Mortis, 
who is like um, the judge of decay. Um, and so we've got the uh, judge fire here as well. And then there's a space here for judge fear. And then, of course, you've got judge death at the bottom. Um, awesome. That not, not for nothing, that third judge to me is nightmare fuel. I know it's not done yet, but like just staring at that, having that in my room, that, that half finished doll look. Yeah, that's yeah. quite scary, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 I might creepy. leave it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm loving the flames coming through the skull, though. On, on, uh, on that, what was someone's name? Uh, judge Fire. See, I don't yeah. understand why they got. I don't, they didn't really write these like the four horsemen. Really, they're like uh -huh. just four judges. So there's Judge Fire, which seems really random. I'm like, what? Why, why would you add Judge Fire in there? But it's kind of the it's kind of the team. So that's that's the judge that consistently is killing it. That's right. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's fire all the time. Yeah. Man, that is that is bonkers, James. So so turn turn your color back on so you can you can you can hurt him again. So B says, not, o not only did he uh, do a kick-ass sculpt, he did it with no reference and asymmetrical. This and, man and, and, no, 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 he never said he didn't have reference. Right. Right? He never said that. He never said he didn't have the reference. Don't, don't be kidding. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he never said that, B. He never said he didn't have reference. I don't, don't want to break Bradley. Bradley's already broken. Bradley's already broken. Don't be doing that. Wow. Yes, I must say I did have a lot of reference in, from the comics. So I guess what I meant was for, for the, especially for the portrait, I would use normally sort of dig into to a bit of photographic reference um, mm -hmm. uh, there. But this time, I, I want I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to be honest, and that was part of the problem. So in in those instances, especially as I'm doing a comic book character, sometimes it's best just to get stuck in and and figure out what you know what you want. And in this instance. It's like, well, I, I feel like I can, you know, like I can do it from scratch anyway. So, you know, right. the, the reference wasn't needed. But sometimes, like it, sometimes the world, the world will not play ball with you. So you have to go back and redo everything and, and go back and find some reference and all that. But thankfully, this time it's worked out quite nicely. So I think, I think uh, uh, it's, it's, yeah. you destroyed it so far and it's not even done yet. No. So. Anyway, uh, uh, I'm along just those lines, set the record straight because you know that's how legends are made. All right, I don't. Want, <laughs> I, he's already legendary. Well, let's not add to it. All right, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you remember, you remember, you remember, you remember when James showed up with one eye and just killed everybody. Now, now, <laughs> now James, I'm gonna tell you. I'm, I'm gonna tell you where this is gonna bite you in the ass, my friend. Um, now. Our good friends at XM Studios are gonna be like, oh, James did that in, in how long? Yeah, with with, uh, yeah. with how, how, how many, how many good ocular uh, units did he have going on at the time? Oh yeah, oh okay, James. Oh. Yeah, to be it, fair, it, I've been working very hard for them though recently, so they, <laughs> they should be able to give me a bit of slack. <laughs> nice, nice. All right. Um, right. So. So oh, Ben mentioned uh, morning all. Damn, I get here and James is killing us. Killing it. Yeah, <laughs> killing he, it. he definitely is. And I do want to welcome to the stream Sparky Face, Steamworks TC, Ben Torf, uh, Torfe. It's, I'm sure that's French, right? Torfe. He, he's um, just not Torf, 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 Torf. Um, and it looks like B is here and Maricat. Maricat's in here. Hey. So so uh yeah I'm 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 what, what, what do we like Mike what are you doing I don't even uh, <laughs> good night everybody what do we what do we do Mike Mike what are you doing let's let, let's see what are you doing Should I don't want to show I don't want to even yeah. show mine oh, now. Come right. on, what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing all right all right um so for for mine uh I'm working on judge death and I'm um I'm just I'm here now Right, which is further than I was last week, but after looking at the fact that there's a fully posed, um, nearly damn finished composition on James's screen, I don't feel as good as I did last night. That's all. <laughs> oh, so, no. But uh, yeah, no, I am. Uh, I'm just finishing up his fingers. I was talking to James before the uh, before the we went live, and what I was trying to figure out is a composition now, and. I really want to do this at some point because this awesome. is like, awesome this is concept. so yeah. dope. This is so dope. But I feel like we have one week left, right? So I'm going to have to come up with something that's probably just death for now. 
Um, so maybe something that's uh, between these kind of things, and then I'll figure out a, a, a base. But believe me, I will go back. I'll go back and, and do this at some point. So that's where that's where I am. Bradley, what you up to? I haven't quit, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> I never scared. I ain't never scared. I'm too ignorant to be scared. Um, so you guys know, I have a full time job. You know, I work California hours. You know, Dave so does a full time job. I don't hear that shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but but you know, James James he's directing. All right, he's directing most of the day. Like I'm, you know, I'm. Yeah, I'm it's easy. Out, right? It's easy. Yeah, wait, wait a minute, Wait a minute, yeah, That yeah, very yeah. important. You know, you know, you know, he's directing all day. I'm boots on ground. Yeah. Uh, this is this is where I'm. Good at. to know James I, doesn't do a damn thing. Yeah, yeah, all right, 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 he's just direct. He's not doing anything. All right. <laughs> but look, I, I will get uh, all I did this week was kind of noodle away on the clothes. Okay. Uh, started working on some hard pieces, but today uh, I'm going to try to finish some of the armor pieces yeah. out the way so I can, like, man, let's start this damn shot. I'm ready to work. Throw some poly paint on that guy, man. Do, oh, do I can't. I, I can't because of layers. I have everything layered in. Oh, uh, okay, okay. All right. Hashtag All right. Uh, ZBrush. Work on layers and poly paint. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's do this, man. Raul, you want to call it? I, I'm scared to nowadays. Pe pe pencils down. Oh, oh, let's, 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 let's <laughs> we did. Oh, not that again. Oh, uh, that's right. He's right. He's right. I'm right. I'm right. Oh, yeah. I knew I could do it. I knew it. My mama always told me that she believed in my abilities. Mm. Uh, <laughs> mm. Uh, gentlemen, mm. pencils down. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, right. While Junior, we're Junior. at it. Let's uh, bring up a couple of things. B says note for future reference. Make James go last. Uh, <laughs> oh. um, I think that that's uh, that's probably a, a good idea, B. Thank you. Thank, idea. you. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't wait. I had yeah. to like. Yeah. I had to do it now. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, Shane says uh, death is awesome. I'm gonna be sculpting them soon. Gonna gonna nick that for reference. Nice. You got it, there Shane. You go. Um, see now, uh, Mini Chick Studios is is after after my heart. The bat chicken thing on the shoulder looks dope. <laughs> yeah, that, I like that. That is cool. Yeah, Very the bat cool. the the battle chicken, as I like to call it, um, <laughs> in general. <laughs> uh, Sparky says, "I I think it's a dinosaur," and uh, Ben does correct and say it's a pterodactyl. That is correct. Um, yes, Katri, we will be doing, uh, uh the, uh, the feedback section today. Um, I will say that it looks like we have less submissions than we did, uh, um, last week, but I think that's more of just a function of the fact that we actually did it last week. Right. Um, and there was a collection of, I, I think two, two weeks, uh, of stuff that we had to get through. Um, but we will, we will get through the, um, the feedback section. Um, and then we have, um, oh shoot. Yep. We, we have attentive slug, James, my man, uh, <laughs> you have any mentorships XM studio is XM studio hiring. How do I get in? <laughs> yeah, it's a good question. Uh, I have considered doing mentorships at the moment. For the foreseeable future, I just don't have the time. It's annoying, but I would like I'd like to do it. But I, yeah, it's something that's kind of forever out of reach for me these days. But um, your best bet is to follow my Instagram. And if I if I do have those, I will put them up. I'll, I'll put it up on my Instagram um, for XM. Well, yeah, unfortunately, no, it, there's not a lot. There's not a lot of ways into XM really, apart from to get noticed by one of the art directors, really. Uh, by either myself, Pablo, or Alan, and um, we're always looking. We're always looking. So the one thing, like we, if you put your work on social media or you put it on Art Station, uh, and it and you know it gets interest. I mean, I can't guarantee I'm going to see everything, but I do look. So uh, there's a chance I'll find it, and and there's a chance we you know like in in our net if we are, we need freelancers and then, then we'll get in contact. We are using more 
in-house um, sculptors these days. Um, and so that means a little bit less freelance at the moment. I don't know if that will be something that will continue or not, to be honest. Um, but uh, it's always worth, you know, putting your stuff out there. Even if you can even drop me a message if you want um, on, on Instagram, if I'm following you. Um, but yeah, just be aware that, you know, like it, there's not, there's more sculptors than there are jobs at the moment. So for XM, um, yeah, you, you might be waiting a long time. I'm afraid, sorry to be blunt about it. <clears throat> now, uh, James, do you, do you see that changing as more and more kind of maybe maybe not necessarily for for statues but let's talk about the broader industry right? yeah, yeah, um yeah. when it comes to 3d art and and modeling um do, have you seen a shift in the last decade of uh kind of jobs that are out there and kind of the the need for more and more people who do what you guys do yeah I, yeah definitely what well, if you're talking about you know like a long period of time yeah definitely i think um you know when you think really i mean digital sculpting really superseded traditional in the industry really i mean that, that it's it's as it, as time has gone on it's gradually replaced it but even then i think looking at it holistically it's actually not just replaced jobs it's created them as well you know yeah. and when you look at the amount of sculpting that's used in you know like visual effects now uh as to from when when it was i know sculpting was used quite a lot in visual effects um but now digital sculpting is used a lot it's also used in because it's easier to access uh in the concept stage as well more now as well so uh, or there's a lot more of it it always was used but there, there's a lot more of it um things are changing though like it one thing I would say is just keep your core creativity going, you know, like as a sculptor or whatever, just do something creative, do something you love doing. And uh, it doesn't matter if it's on, with ZBrush or, or something else. And you'll find someone that wants to, that wants you, you know, if, if, if you get good enough and people notice you. Um, so what, what, where I'm going with that is that we're now going to a point where artificial intelligence is going is dangerously close to replacing a lot of artists out there um now of course that's that whole subject is completely up for debate at the moment but um there are elements out there that want it to happen and so we have to assume that at some point it will happen um so you have to really be flexible you know you have to have, keep those like the core art skills going because those are all those are immutable those are always the same but the tech the technology is the thing that changes um so yeah when it comes to sculpting like there's more jobs out there the the in the collectibles industry that's grown quite a lot when you think about where it was for in, in you know in tradi traditional days from to where it is now it's really exploded um but it will never, I mean, the games industry, you're going to see less of it going forward because people will start using AI, people people are using more, in fact, it's already started happening where people are using more scans and stuff. So you've got to adapt to that. You've got to be able to figure out, well, where do I fit in the scheme of things? It's not easy either. It's really literally riding a wave. So, And, um, and so un understanding that those changes are coming, Right now, yeah. get to some of the chats uh, down here in a second. I just think that this is a good yeah. kind of yeah, conversation yeah. point. Like understanding that some of those changes are, are coming. How do you insulate yourself? Um, break away from the crowd. How do you how do you get yourself noticed? Um, how do you how do you survive in this type of environment where not only is it difficult to get seen and noticed, but it, it, you're also now fighting technology um yeah and yeah. And, and and we're we're getting to the terminator two days where <laughs> yeah. skynet is just going to be doing everything that we needed to right so well, how do we how do you survive as a as a digital artist here i think many people are trying to answer that at the moment and there isn't an answer to that i'm afraid it's very very difficult for me i just try and live in the now the other thing is what I try and do is be an individual, you know, like I, I, I've, although I do, of course, I'm sculpting 
superheroes and stuff. Um, my, I, I try with my personal work. I try and do what I like doing. You know, like and and actually, when you do that, people you'll find more chances are that you'll find people that are like-minded. Um, but also, people people like creativity. You know, like they like that kind of um, individualism. That this is what we've got. This is the this is our core thing. This is what I learned at art school. Is that your individual? You know, you we are all individuals. We all have our own little priorities and little things, and and that's what makes us great artists individually. The problem that we have in the digital industry is that um, we everything. And I said this like a couple either last week or the week before. Everything's workflow based, so um, the industry will try and channel you into doing that into like rinse and repeat you know do the um so, you know we, want, we need this asset done so you just copy copy you know do this click on that do that because it's all a digital process and then voila you've got your asset like any other factory would um yeah. so it's your job as an artist to push against that um and to understand that that is needed um in the industry to a degree but also it, um, you can't let it take over either. You can't let it take over um, what what you do. So it's a, it, it it's a difficult it's a difficult thing. I'm glad I I, I went in, into art when I was a bit older. Actually, I'm not sure I would have been mature enough to to get to grasp those concepts, and I probably would have given up actually because um, it is tough. It's tough to. It's taken me a long time. You know, like. I've been in the industry seven years, but before that, I was working, you know, uh, uh, three, five years before that as a creative and not getting anywhere. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's um it's something that um it's not it's, to go back to your question. I can't really answer it really. You know, it's it's a difficult one. Yeah, that it, it it's interesting. Uh, ju just because I've been kind of watching the automation of the workforce, kind of like across the mm. board, multiple industries, just given my background in history. And yeah. one of the things that I've always said is that you know the the jobs that are the most safe are the creatives because um, yeah. I've yeah. I've always felt like um, you know that computers are, although one day might be able to um are just so far away from being able to take over the the yeah. things that we that we do creatively um but that i've seen some of these ai technologies now and they're i mean they're not there yet but damn they're if close. they're not close damn if they're not closer than i expected them to be right? well actually in one way they're not close at all no because they can't all they can do is replicate what they've seen and they and they learn from and and no matter what the what people that you know what these people that own these products and they are products at the moment they are products um what people that own these products are saying you know they'll, they'll tell you oh yeah you know it's in, in, it's um it's a, it's it's an actual living breathing thing they're wrong although it is it you know that is very clever the way it's been you know it, it's been programmed um but they they still don't have that individualism and you can still see it like most of my professional friends we can all spot an ai artwork mile off still. I, I know i still can and i'm not i'm yeah. not i'm not yeah. an artist right yeah, yeah. um i um, i'm gonna get to a couple of the chat messages um uh i'm not uh i'm not tasi petrov <laughs> uh hey guys it's my first time here how can i submit my work for the feedback session or am i too late you are not too late i'm gonna drop a discord link in the chat here in a second uh you would submit that through the feedback section in our discord um so thank you for that and i look forward to seeing what you put down there um and it looks like ben had uh, answered a little bit of that. Yeah, we we do end up going through the get the fee get feedback section at the end of the stream. Um, so just hold tight, keep keep hanging out, um, you know, and we will get to and we get to all of them, right? Like there hasn't been a time where we don't get to all of them. So um, next one looks like uh, Joe Joba or uh, says hi um, and. <laughs> And he says, it's easy to beat Skynet. We just do Sarah Connor. Now, I don't know if what he means. I, you know what? You know what? I'm going to leave that. Um, uh, Surely. <laughs> Surely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, back, back it away. I would like this to get seen. Um, 
All right, so Katri says you need to feed millions of data to AI to generate an image. Even if AI is generating art, it's safe to say that those are not original work, but pixels taken by somebody's work. Now, that creates an interesting point of discussion um, with like fair hey, pause, use and pause, pause, quick yeah. question. Mike, why the hell my live this I ha this live Boolean that I have this one is not working, but this one is, and I don't know why, and it's bothering me. What's the What's the order in the stack? Do you need to move it up or down? Uh, so, so this one is working, right? Uh -huh. This hole, this one is punching the hole, but okay. the one that I have above it, this one, which is this Taurus, uh -huh. is not. You impact. want that to punch a hole, or do you want that to be? No, no I, I want it to indent the surf the surface like it is, and it's not doing it. Uh, stop rotating, jeez! I'm gonna get Sorry. like a okay, <laughs> um, okay. That's set for negative. The thing is underneath. It should work, and you have you have live boolean turned on, obviously. Yep. Uh, did you? It, it split from whatever you drew it out on. It's on yeah, its own it's, layer. It's yeah, it's on its own thing. thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. Try duplicating it and see if that does anything. And just kind of uh, use the arrow key to move it up and down the stack. Sometimes you need to kind of remind it what's going on. Oh, wait, is it on the surface? Because look at the other side. Yeah. It looks like it's not on it. I have more than one. Uh... Yeah, whenever I do live Boolean, it just didn't, makes it disappear. It's... Can you turn on transparency so I can see through what's going on? See what's happening? Uh... Yeah, zoom in. So it's there. Yeah. Use your use your gizmo and try to move it up and down and see if that does anything. Maybe it's a preview issue. I don't I know why it would be. Did. Turn off transparency. I don't know if Let's see. Oh, turn that balloon on. Okay. It disappears. See, it's not doing it's not doing anything. Um uh, is it a uh it's a polymesh 3D, right? It should be. It's an insert, isn't it? Yeah. Or, yeah, I don't know, dude. Try, uh, try. Just... Let's do this. Maybe, maybe it's not. No, it is. Because I wouldn't have all these options. Whatever. Try just doing a test. Do a sphere and see if it's see if a sphere does it. There. Just make a new like a pen to sphere. Oh. And then try. Sorry, guys. This is what we do every day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, attentive Slug says, uh, try to flip normals. Do you have double turned on? Uh, my, yeah, I'm curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let's, let's, let's try that. I hate when I have double turn, doubles turned on oh, and I have yeah, a thing inside yeah. out. Um, no, that's not it. No, Dude, okay. Right. I don't know. All right. I don't know, but. All right. Resume the show. I'll figure it out. <laughs> This is all part of the show, man. Resume, resume, the process. Show. Yeah, it's it's a process. It's a process. If you closed one eye, you'd probably be better. I I was hoping that maybe James, <laughs> I, I was hoping maybe James would run into the technical yeah. difficulties, but no such luck. <laughs> I have feelings too. <laughs> uh, to uh, Tony joined the stream. Says morning, fellas. What's up, Tony? Good huh? morning. Um, and it looks like Ram is, is on saying, what's up, Tony? Um, a, a couple other things for everybody who's watching now. Please um, hit like, that little, that little thumbs up button on the stream. Uh, share out to your friends. Subscribe if you're not already subbed. We had a, had a pretty good week this week. But, uh, but guys, if you like the content, um please consider subscribing to the channel um looks like we have a couple other pieces of chat here so sura deep says hey guys thanks for the feedback on my piece last week on stream it's always awesome to get feedback from the masters i will uh -huh. keep uh, i will keep up with those feedbacks and i will update so uh sort of deep uh Always appreciate your engagement and uh, look, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what what comes out of all that, man. Um, okay, Hannibal uh, talking about AI says it's argued that AI is a, a tool, but when your AI 
um, when the AI is using other artists' work, it's straight jacking. Um, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. That's that's an interesting, that's I don't an interesting think it, thought process. I don't think it's... AI, here's the thing, it's the same with the NFT thing, right? I, the, the technology is not the problem, it's the people that use it and sell it. That are the, that are the problem and it, and and they both of those technologies have attracted the wrong sort of people in my opinion um you've literally got the guy that owned um oh, I can't, one of the ai's saying you know artist jobs are dead they're boring anyway i don't know why you're so worried about it sort of thing and so these are the wow. sort of people that are that are behind these so software and like i said before they are there to make them money that's the main their primary purpose they're not there to forward the causes of art or anything they are there to make the owners money and they and their stuff has been trained on not my stuff's in there i've checked the database i have not given permission for my work to be used and the constant argument is well that's how artists work they steal other people's work and of course anyone that's an artist knows that is not the case right. so there has to be a legal precedence for this and this is where artists really need their their representatives and their government to step up um unfortunately i need people in the us to do that because my government over here as you know is non-existent so um <laughs> and they were actually trying to pass a bill. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> they, yeah that's a loaded but yeah. they were trying to pass a bill over here to let people do let let ai companies do it that's how bad it is over here so we really need an international um, effort to, to, to stop this from happening. All I yeah. can do is write my MP, but I don't think they're going to have a job. So <laughs> it's pretty soon. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're if you're banking on the U.S. government to stop big business, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's kind of a sad I, state. For I, I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if you've been. Uh, you said you were a historian, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there, there's a historical precedent out there, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so DK uh, has joined the stream. Says, uh, "What's up to everyone?" Hey DK. What's up? Um, Hannibal mentions Bradley. Uh, would putting the parts that aren't working in a folder help? Would that help you? Yeah, I was thinking they're already in the folder. They're not already in the tool. But I found what the problem is. Ooh, what is, what's the problem, Bradley? If you press Make Poly Mesh 3D, everything works. Mm. That's what that's what I was saying. That's what I, I know I pressed it. I, I didn't uh, I didn't press it before. I pressed it. I pressed it. I pressed it. Uh, so it works. Cool. And then I realized that's not what I wanted to do. But now mm. <laughs> after all that. Yeah. Hey, but, now, but but now but now you know. Gi Joe. Yeah. <laughs> um let's see. So it looks like Ben is saying preach. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, look, sorry, this, sorry, this is sorry, good. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. But but, but this is good, right? Like I I think a lot more discourse in the industry needs to occur around this, especially from the artists, right? Yeah, um I, it, it's really important for that. Artists I mean, terrible like that. We don't speak up enough. Like we don't charge enough. We don't, you know, like there's a lot of things that we don't do. We're too timid about it and um and people take advantage of that and uh, i think that's uh i think if you if you can grasp that at an early stage in your career you'll definitely that will definitely help you but as in general i think um it's when it, especially when it comes to these things like nfts and ai yeah we just need to, to speak up more about it be more vocal yeah. in the right way you know constructively mm -hmm. i think yeah My, mike what's your take on the subject uh yeah i mean Mike's mike money <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I think that there's a place for AI, just kind of like what James was talking about last week, right? So that whole helping as far as uh, concepting and stuff like that is, or just kind of opening your eyes to different ways to think and, and, and different directions that you might not have in mind. So it's, it's good for that. But you're right. Like if you have, there's always going to be a company that's like, okay, I want a push button solution to this problem and uh if somebody can do it for cheaper and you know more efficiently or whatever uh even if it's not as creative then you know it's uh, i like to watch south park and they have that whole you took our job thing you know what i mean and <laughs> yeah i feel like i feel like that would be something that they would they would definitely be open to you know what i mean like uh so 
I don't know. Uh, I don't know how to feel about it right now. This is one of those things that's kind of, you know, it's 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 an NFT kind of a space. I feel like AI is great for NFTs. So use AI to make NFTs and completely destabilize that market and and leave leave us alone. Done. How about that? Done. <laughs> that, that's and really done. that's how Mike feels about it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there, you go. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Bradley? What do you What do you think? What What are your I, thoughts? On I, I I give I give I give two ish because they can't read the AI can't read the apologize and can't take art direction. So I'm good. Well, yes. with that with that being said, <laughs> Katri's 3D says would love it if AI is used to yep. make the. Uh, nope. Make automatic retopology process better. <laughs> yeah, that's the frustrating thing, right? There's so many things as 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 three D artists that, and even two D artists that we need automated could, that are a pain, real pain to do, yeah. and uh, right. and that's not what these people are focusing on. It's like they wanted to <laughs> <they're laughs> just like... focusing on like the worst thing, you know? Um, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, that that's that's interesting. Um. And then DK says, I know, right? We need AI to do the stuff we really care about, like Retopo. <laughs> don't don't tell that to Tony Gore. <laughs> Tony's like, hey, listen, I'm, my job security is, is safe. Leave me alone. I love it. I love Retopo. I think I think the more creative we get, the less AI will be able to do because they're, they're still trying to train AI to think and predict and be how we are as like human beings. But I think the more like there's been some like really abstract creative stuff. And even in recent games, like the way that people are pushing stuff, like if, if the more creative we are, the, the more the bigger the gap AI needs to like. Yeah, I think so too. I, I, I would totally agree. I would totally agree with that. I mean, I'm I'm old enough to remember when we had this same discussion about Photoshop. Like, yeah, I remember yeah. when when everybody was getting a, a a Mac, you know, the old Quadras. Uh, they were like, "Oh, this is going to take away the artist's job." Ah, now I have Photoshop. I'm a desktop uh, publisher and a and a you know a designer and blah blah blah. And it didn't. So, I mean, listen, yeah. as 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 bells and whistles as AI is, and and it does. There, there's one application. I don't. I think there's a lot of garbage out there, but there's one. What's the one that that makes those really beautiful paintings and stuff? That is it Dolly. Is it Dolly? Is that yeah? The one Dolly's everybody? one of them. Uh, yeah. What's the other one? Something diffusion. Some S begins with an S. That's the guy. That's the one. The quote. The guy that owns that. That's the the guy I quoted. Oh, I see. Stable yeah. Stable diffusion, but... isn't it? Stable diffusion. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah. so I mean, some of the stuff looks really, really good, man, but. But yeah, artists aren't going anywhere. Spoiler alert: We're going to be here. I think what the big thing, the big thing I'd like to get across from the experience that I've had as a professional artist and as an amateur artist, even, is that um, in art you get out what you put in, and, right. and what I mean by that is that you will never be able to make art what is art with a button, press of a button, and then these people that think they're doing it are deluding themselves because the reality is, is everyone else is doing it with a push of a button. And what happens is over time, your work stops becoming special because it's all going to look very similar uh, or it's all going to be along a similar similar lines. So this is what I was saying about being an individual, you know, like you, if you're an individual, you have your own ideas, your own passions, your own. Actually, you're, you're even your own flaws. That's also be a part of being an artist. And actually, a lot of people would debate that that is what informs your style, you know, mm -hmm. your flaws that you've learned over time, um, which is why it's some older artists work is a bit more stylistic because over time they picked up more flaws um, <laughs> yeah. um yeah, bad habits compounding bad, bad habits, habits. And, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 that's uh that's good uh we so sparky uh mentions i had uh bullions in a folder not working took them out worked fine put everything back into the folder works fine <laughs> um that's uh i i think that's more of a comment to what bradley was dealing with because uh zbrush be be acting up which uh oh, yeah. is what sparky's comment on here um the only thing so joe joba says the only thing that ai will never do is retopo yeah <laughs> maybe you want to do it that's well. why yeah 
and uh and uv mappings is uh yeah, UV, yeah, yeah, yeah. um stable diffusion <laughs> looks like uh dk yeah. and joe uh joe joba had mentioned yeah um so yeah i mean it, it's a it's definitely an interesting concept um it might make some some work easier on like the lower levels but one of the things that we're probably well far off of is on the level of like what you guys do and and, and proper artists right so yeah or let's hope i kind of hope so in a way but um you know like i say you, all you've got you can't really do anything about it if it does happen all you can do is just is make sure that you um focus on on your art you know you focus on what you want to do and have fun and everything else uh will follow i guess um yeah that, there's there's an element of faith in that i'm afraid <laughs> <laughs> well i mean you know it, it, it you're you're right in in that and this goes for anything that anything that anybody's doing if you if you're out there doing something you don't love you're never going to be great at it um because yeah. you don't love it um so just keep honing your craft and make sure that you're you're in love with what you do right i think the irony irony thing is um having uh known a couple of people that wanted to be professional footballers is your love of you know like you start off loving it and then when you become a professional you end up hating it because you have to do it all the time there's kind of yeah. a, a weird irony to that as well which is why it's like really important to really like what you're doing you know yeah um, absolutely because you um, will have to do it all the time. <laughs> all the time. All so, the time. Ka Katri says, when, when the camera was invented, people said pa uh, painter's career will end, but it did yeah. not. It made them more yeah. superior and their worth increased over time. That's right. Well, I mean, again, like I said um, at the very start, um, that digital, I, I know a lot of traditional sculptors. I know a lot of traditional sculptors that were put out of work by digital sculpting. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a, lot, a lot of those have, have, have made the move back to digital. Uh, some of them didn't. Some of them just left for good or stayed traditional. But one thing I would say is that I think digital uh, artwork in, it, in its own has created more jobs than traditional ever did. Um, you know, like it, when you look at the amount of jobs that are out there now for you know to do, you know especially in the games industry i mean that's getting that's just constantly getting bigger so um yeah it is, it's a very good point you know you don't know what the future holds but as i say the only thing you can control is your art artistic you know artistic core skills you know yeah all right and then yeah it looks like um what what was it okay so ben says oh god I worked at a dark room when fo the Photoshop scares started. I still <laughs> work through uni. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A Hannibal mentions the Photoshop era is what AI artists use as an argument. Uh, we know now uh, Photoshop is actually just a tool. The trouble with AI is the fact that it requires no discipline. That's an interesting yeah. take. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ben says the Uber, the Uber eats of art. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Um, DK says, Mike, every time I come in, you're working on hands. Probably the, you're probably the best hand sculptor I know. I, I don't know about that. Thank you very much. But I am always working on hands. You would think I would just make one good one and just keep it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if anybody no, seen you want to go back to, yeah, no, it's no, fun to go back, isn't it? It's fun to go to do that stuff again, and you don't want to. No, no, no. Con control C, control V over here, not in these streets. No, no. Uh, hey, listen, I'm looking at James's thing and wishing I was control C and control V. And <laughs> it's, it's a possibility. There's that. a copy up here somewhere. If I'm <laughs> please believe I'm not better than that. Yeah, you're not not above it, right? Not above it. Nope. Um, nope. Ha Hannibal says the the other trouble is uh, you do have some great artists using AI. Um, that the that that don't see the trouble. I'm sorry, uh, my reading Rainbow Days have failed me. And all of the things that they're making with AI is feeding the AI uh, the AI on how it gets better based on their work. So effectively, it, what uh, to summarize, it sounds like Hannibal was saying is the more AI stuff that goes out, 
the better, more kind of um, more focused the art will eventually get. Yeah, I mean that's again that's a good point. I mean, um, yeah, I I I don't see. I I can I can see pe- more more concept artists using it, but of course, perhaps they haven't thought that through. I don't know. I, I it's not something. I mean, I would consider using AI for ideas generation, but not as not some. And I imagine that's what a lot of these artists are doing it for. You know, but I like have concept, seen a few, concept work. Yeah, yeah, just helping kind of. Um, you know, uh, uh, basically help them come come up with sort of ideas, which I think is quite a good idea. I'd like to do that, actually. I know a couple of my friends have done that with it. But yeah, of course, I, I take his point that, you know, like if you're doing stuff on it, you're you're technically training it, you know, to replace you. This is this is what a lot of people are saying. But yeah. Then, yeah. And then so uh, Sir Deep asks a uh, question for James. How much dynamic pose the, I'm sorry, how much dynamic pose the piece matters to show up in XM, XM studio or relaxed poses can work? Um, um yeah. Do you, so, do you, do you get, get what is Yeah, asking? yeah, I think so. So you're okay. asking how, how important is the actual pose? You know, of course it's very important, um, especially because um you know like there's only as a lot of our collectors are realizing there's only a certain amount of poses you can actually get <laughs> in, in, in a statue so actually being able to pull bring out the most in a pose is really really important i i think it's going to become even more important going forward you know in the industry oh. um i think people are going to want to see that more um you know what more more chances taken more i i said in the when we started the the, the um the streams like a few weeks back that um working in the statue industry that there's a lot of skills that you share with an illustrator in terms of like you need to be able to tell a story um now a lot of that responsibility will lay on my shoulders as the art director to help guide you like that but it doesn't it definitely helps if you're working with an artist who understands the principles of it um it makes my life a lot easier anyway and of course i'm more likely to to work with someone who's going to make my life easier Um, really is that how that works yeah oh yeah Yeah. definitely (laughs) (laughs) um yeah so that's something to take into consideration so don't just be a good sculptor be be a good storyteller be it's about visual communication you know um that that's a that's a huge element so don't overlook that um there's a lot of it's actually going back to someone that said, you know, how do you stand out of the crowd? The crowd, well, that's one way, you know, to tell your own stories, to find your own compositions and and all of that. There's infinite amounts of those. I can only see so many T poses um, at the end of the day. It's the reality, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get that. <laughs> um, okay. Um, Mini Trick Studios said, I, I started I, I started in clay. Took me a while to switch to digital, um, but I don't regret it. ZBrush is fun, yeah, less messy, and has an undo button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think we can all feel that one. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, Mike, did you when you you started sculpting in in clay and stuff like that too, right? Oh, actually, no. Um, I used to. Well, I used to mess around with like Sculpey and Super Sculpey back in the day. But um, I only started using Monster Clay after I really got a handle on um, on uh, ZBrush, and then I started playing around with with using Monster Clay, and I love it, you know. Um, but yeah, I was uh, I was a you know I was a two D guy. I was I was not really into sculpting very much. Okay. Um, Katri says, imagine 10 or 20 years in the future, AI will be creating whole games at once. Just a thought. I don't, I think we're further off than that personally. Um, uh, also knowing, knowing the, how, um, litigious <laughs> the big license holders <laughs> are, I don't think, I, I imagine a lot of this stuff will be, you know, there's going to be a lot of legal problems with this. If you're, if you're Disney, right. And, uh, and then someone is selling a product where you can just type in, um, 
you know, like a, probably be more elaborate than this, but make me a Star Wars movie and it makes you a Star Wars movie. <laughs> They're going to have issues with that, right? <laughs> so, you know, and, and uh, assuming that the AI is probably, you know, like uh, a lot of these AIs are not, they're not really being selective over what sources they're using. So a lot of those, I imagine it's probably trawled the net and picked up a load of Star Wars stills as well to be able to get that knowledge. So the yeah. legal ramifications of that are actually really interesting. I mean, like the show's not over yet in that in that respect. And I think I can see the big license holders, you know, like having real issues with this stuff. You know, you know what I mean? Um, a Star Wars movie. Yeah, yeah. Star Wars movie. Hit enter. Well, Br Bradley, being our our resident uh, game studios <laughs> expert here, what do you think? You think what? Do you think that your work and the work of everybody else that goes into making a, a game can't, can't is going to get apologize? Can't listen to our direction. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you think you think all that's going to work? Yeah. Wait, what do you think? Apologize. Tell can't listen to our direction. Yeah. <laughs> and last time I checked, the all uh, the 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 tools that are used for games are dr created for people to use. <laughs> yeah. That, I mean, I, I can't see an entire game being, being made off of the click of a button. Um, yeah. It'd be interesting to see what type of garbage it'll spit out though. <laughs> yeah. um, you know that new Amazon yeah. show, uh, Parallels or whatever, that's really good. That, like, like, like that, that whole VR, like, like you know, virtual reality, type like stuff yeah that's really really dope if you haven't seen it like it's really 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 good yeah i'll i'll double click on that because i haven't um I, I haven't seen that i haven't seen that at all um joe joba says i'm only using mid journey for quick memes that that's it is mid journey <laughs> is that a, is that another ai yeah. system yeah yeah that's right yeah yeah that one's okay. driven a lot off of discord i think interesting okay I, uh, uh, you know i mean guys you know my i'm um, i'm a digital marketer so like, like i i'm looking at this these ai things and you know so one, one of the things that i find interesting and, and have been kind of thinking about um is for small businesses like ways that we can have content that's generated for folks that are not artists can't afford artists Hmm. and need to get seen in our local marketplaces and a lot hmm. of that happens on on social um hmm. and so how do we take the Shit. work away um from creating those social posts and making sure that these people get found and so i'm i'm actually looking at the ai uh technology kind of sounds Grayton. like you're the enemy mm -hmm. Kind of sound like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's well, kind of sound like you're an enemy. Well, yeah, look, I, I, I mean, very not, suspicious, <laughs> Ralph. Very suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's like, so I, I mean, I, I want an artist. I yeah. don't want to pay. I just want all whatever the my money could afford. Can, can I get all the monies? <laughs> can, can I? Can right. I do that? Um, but no, no. I mean, look again. It, 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 it's putting putting small businesses on my, more my, even my ground from. Like, yeah. Yeah. larger organizations which is really what i think social media did right um yeah. it democratized uh, a, a lot of the tools and communication channels that huge organizations had like all of a sudden all you need is a is a mic and a and a camera and you can broadcast in front of everyone i mean we're kind of proof of that right so yeah um, yeah I, I and of course the other thing is like well, you know like a lot of these ai people are saying oh you guys are just gatekeepers and and there is actually an element of truth to that and you know i the art school i went to i was taught by people from the royal college of art they were super snobby about art you know like and i don't think uh, I, it used to really turn me off so there is a flip side to this and the art should be um you know like a, a, a easily easily available you know there's, there's there's a big and if it is like if there is an ai that can do that and give that ability to these these smaller sort of businesses and then, then why would they not use it you know at the end of the day you've got i guess as an artist you've got to be able to see this in a business sense as well so you know otherwise you you're just you're just going to have the rug just taken out from you so yeah. it is there is part of that part this is part of being a creative a professional creative is figuring out where you fit and where you can make money this is at the end of the day you are a business and yeah. um yeah it's not something that comes easy to artists i'm afraid but we, we really should spend more time on it yeah um so 
Uh, Aldo says, and I, I think this is similar to a question that you, you answered earlier. So Aldo just might not have been on the stream. Um, I want to end up making art toys. Any advice on how to get your work seen? Oh yeah, art toys. You mean like um, designer toys and that sort of stuff, like a bit like more like the Funko sort of stuff. Yeah. So I'm Ben assuming. Ben yeah. says the, the same as Aldo. I've been making 3D print minis and working yeah. on doing slicing and cutting for joints and statues. What else yeah, would be yeah. useful to have? So, um, so designer toys are really interesting. I know that's not. I mean, uh, that's that was sort of the original question. I think really with it with that sort of stuff, there's like a scene. Like, so I would get. Um, I would follow. It's all about following the right people, seeing what the scene's doing, and then replicating that and going to meet people, especially with the designer toys. I know there's a really well regarded designer toy um, uh, kind of convention in London. And it's a great place to go to meet people and show stuff. Um, I mean, in the States, for example, I've been to Monster Palooza, you know, mm. which is great for meeting yeah. people like site that a lot of the sideshow sculptors are there and stuff. And it's a great place to meet people. I would say that's really helped me in my career, meeting people, showing my work to them and all of that sort of stuff. I don't realize you have to be fairly privileged to be able to do that, though. But um, that's something that's helped me quite considerably so if you want to get into stuff like designer toys and i would highly recommend figuring out where those things happen and you know um uh, go there if you can or if not just try and be part of the community yeah um is a, is a good for the um i think there was two separate ones there though wasn't there like the, about the um engineering and stuff the, yeah print. so the the other one uh, um I, it's a with the, well they're 3d printing minis right um, right, gotcha. And so they were asking about slicing and cutting uh, yeah. joints and statues, and what what else do you think would be useful to have on there? As a what as on your CV or? Um, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe Ben can clarify. Um, yeah. So uh, let us uh, go ahead and let Ben Ben clarify that in another comment, <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll bring that up. In the meantime, guys, um, it's eleven. Uh, wow. do you, we want to do what's good? Yeah. yeah. I wish I had one. All right. So let's oh, start with Bradley. Bradley. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> I haven't missed a week, right? I haven't. Why would you start with me when my <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's it? All right. This is how you think on your feet. Go, Bradley. Go. <laughs> yeah, go, go, go. go. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello. <laughs> no. Come on, something something good happened this week, Rabbit. Yeah, come on, man. That's good, oh, baby. Oh, oh, you're still here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Still here? yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, oh, yeah. Come, yeah. On, come on. You come got something. Up. Cuff it up. Come on. Waiting on you. Uh, I think he's just playing. Awesome, with us. awesome thing that happened this week. Uh, Wacom sending me another 27 inch pro. Really? Uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> okay. Anyway, all right, James. What's good for you? No one's done it. Right. Move, move are, are back you... over to James. <laughs> <laughs> no one's double clicking on that. Dude. Um. So I, I actually, I've got. Uh, the, 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 I've been waiting for this for ages. My Justice Gundam. Oh, nice. nice. I didn't know you're into Gundams. Yeah, I've got loads of them. That's um, a very expensive uh, hobby. <laughs> it is, yes. Um, <laughs> right up um, there with collectibles. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, I like a bit of the old um, plastic crack, as they say. But, uh, uh, like, yeah. I think Gundams is probably like more like outside of those who like collect the statue. I think Gund Gundams are probably the, mo the most hardcore because you have to put them together. <laughs> yeah, well, do exactly. you clean them I, after you're done? I do. I custom customize them <laughs> oh, nice. okay. so uh yeah i i will i've got like um I, i'm trying to work on figuring out how to scribe my own lines and stuff on mm -hmm. them so uh but you can also get this like stuff called pla like um, pla plate which you can actually add like plates to the to the gundams and stuff like that so yeah Are i've you, been into that them? yeah i have yeah i have paint i have paint i'm not going to show you any though because they're terrible <laughs> <laughs> um, right. uh, but but yeah uh it's something it's cool I, I i'm a bit of a japanophile i like i like 
you know, Japanese stuff but in general. But uh, I picked up Love of Gundams when I was over in uh, Tokyo a few years back. And uh, because I bought a load back with me, and uh, mm -hmm. then we hit lockdown, so which was kind of so literally, <laughs> I just spent a lot of that time sort of making Gundams and stuff, which is yeah. Cool. There's also right. a really cool community and stuff. There's lots of different, lots of tips, lots of YouTube channels and stuff. And I just get, I'm a terrible geek like that. I get all into the geekery behind it. So yeah, well, <laughs> I, I mean, I I couldn't paint anything. Like uh, right right now, I think my daughter paints Elsa better than I do. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Mike? What's your what's good? Okay, I'm gonna pull up my what's good while I am. Mm. Raul, I want you to pull up pictures of uh, Brad Grotman's um, Beast Man so we can show them off because that's oh, yeah. really wow, it's really good. Um, all right, so for me, I'm late to the party. Obviously, like I'm probably the last one who's on this, but I finally got an Elite controller. Ooh, and, very nice. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I because at first when this came out, right, I was like, um. I'm going to pay a hundred and some dollars for a damn controller. It's ridiculous. <laughs> this thing feels, and, and believe me, I don't have no affiliation with Microsoft at all. Microsoft, get at me. Um, but, <laughs> but this thing feels so good. It feels so good in my hand. I can't even tell you. Um, so haven't figured out how to program these things yet, but they feel really good. So I'm going to be Oh, there's good buttons at the bottom. Yeah, cool. yeah. And then these little, these little, all right. So everybody else knows this except for James. But but yeah, these, sure. these, these I, I just realized it. But these come off, and you can put on like they're just magnetized, right? But I can oh, go and put on the, the the regular D pad that you're used to, and it just snaps right into place. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's it's baller, and it comes with a bunch of different little joysticks and all that stuff. So um, I I love this, and now that I've been doing more gaming again, uh, man, it it it's going to be a problem. Just letting you know. But that's what's good for me. Yeah, and uh, I have a I have everything up now to to show. Uh, yeah, let's show kinda, Brad stuff. Man, if I mean, you guys were here for our He Man edition. We had the Super Friends on, and um, Brad and uh, Brad Grotman and Tony were also working on uh, That's Eternia. Cool. That's very and cool. He not only printed it, but he God, painted it as all Brad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, look at that, man. Leave it, leave it to Brad to make mm. us feel like underachievers. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> oh, dang it, Brad. That's very cool. Golly. Very cool. Yeah. He doesn't yeah, play. That's wicked. No, Brad, Brad does not. <laughs> look at the there, scale. There it is right there, yeah. It's, it's crazy. right in, too. It does fit right in. Yep. <laughs> sure does. Bro, Brad. Yeah, shout out to Brad Grobman. I know he's having that I made it moment. Very it cool. Right in there. Like it hey, wait right a minute. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put it on, put it on me for a second. Put it on me for a second. Uh, all right. Put it on me for a second. Hold on. I'll forget it. I'll do it. Brad, you're a beast, man. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah. He'll be he'll be here all week. Uh, your waitresses, please. Yeah, he'll be here all week. Yeah. Um. All right. Cool. So let, let me catch up a little bit with chat because um, okay. we're a little behind here. Um, so Sparky says, uh, going back to the AI conversation, looks like um, Sparky doesn't understand who would own the IP if it's an AI-generated concept. I don't think um, anyone does, really. Do <laughs> this yeah. is a problem. Well, yeah. I mean, if it's a concept, right, and you bring that to market, I mean, I, I guess you would own the IP, no? Mm. If someone can show that, that like, and, and this, I've seen Facebook shots of, like, an AI-generated image and someone, and, and, it, and it's very similar to someone else's image. So, literally, it hasn't changed the image that much. Um, mm. Then, if someone can just pop out of the woodwork randomly and say, hang on a minute, this was kind of my work. That's going to really put the wind up a lot of these license holders. They're going to be very scared about using it. So, yeah. yeah. Um, that, now, that, that it, might be it, beneficial overall for the marketplace so that um, these, AI, like, that might be what we need to whip these uh, companies into shape, though, right? Could be yeah i mean uh, of course always count on these lies on these license holders to use it to their advantage yeah so absolutely. i have no they'll probably find a way to use it against us in some way but there you go that's just me uh, being would, a bit jaded <laughs> i would say the correct answer is elon musk 
Elon Musk is the correct answer. Is he um, the answer for everything? Somehow he owns the license. So uh, <laughs> Shane, Shane says, my take on AI um, as a concepting tool, it's going to be useful, but it's lack of subjectivity. Inability to convey narrative or composition will always mean that there'll be a need for artists. Right, yeah. Um, me, uh, oh man, I don't want to mess this up. Miyawaki Sakura, um, high five. Welcome to the stream. Uh, man, I'm gonna kill it. Me, Miyawaki. I think, I think you nailed it. Well, yeah. until the second time, I think yeah, until the, the first time, the first time was first right. time you did okay. Yeah, uh, attentive slug says so. Seeing how quickly you work, James, generally, how long would you give or should it take for a freelancer to complete a statue? Before you do that, I think that James is the like he's spitting out work so quickly he might as well be AI. All right, James, go. <laughs> I'm an AI. Actually, this is all generated. James, James yeah, is an AI. Yeah. Yeah. So you know. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a good question. So, um, I firstly I would say if you are looking, you know, if you're building up your skill set or you're still a student or whatever, don't worry, don't fixate on this time thing. Don't fixate on it. Everyone, ha I, I've worked with some fantastic sculptors and they all have their different speeds about things and they all have things they struggle with and things they're much faster at. So don't worry, don't fixate on it. Don't, try not to fixate on it. Just focus on, on your current skill set and getting better. That's, that's, the, I'm getting, you know, that doesn't, that might not be getting better, might not mean getting faster. It just means getting more competent at something. Right. Um, the other, the other, the other thing is just to give you a rough idea. So in terms of professional time, um, uh, a statue for XM can take up from two months to six months. I mean, sometimes they'll take a year and it really does depend on there's other factors involved where the licensor has to get involved and, and all of this sort of stuff. So um, and then that you're you're waiting for feedback. And so uh, a lot of that flow is interrupted. So you won't just get an assignment and then just sculpt all the way through to the finish. You'll have. Uh, you get to a point where you have to submit it to me or, you know, and there's this constant back and forth and, you know, that's part of the process. You're not sort of uh, doing this on your own. So that's, that's something to factor in as well. Um, but yeah, for, uh, I mean, two months for a court scale is quite good. If you can do so, it in two months, it, that's pretty good. But um, so depends. one thing I want to add to that, if, if you don't mind, uh, James, yeah, like, sure. I want yeah. people like to like really like, especially like, cause we've seen some like comments in our streams and stuff about, you know, all oh, sometimes we don't finish stuff and stuff like that. I want people to realize the amount of work we're, it usually will take two to three months to do a full, full piece, like till it's mm. to, like, till it's fullest. To, and yeah, to see can, what yeah. Mike and I are doing in just like four weeks, it's a lot. <laughs> it's like, like well, 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 yeah, with 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 <laughs> full time with full time jobs too. With full time so, jobs, but, like, like with full time now, jobs. So J James coming on here and 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 completely poking holes in our boat. Uh, aside, <laughs> aside. <laughs> um, you know. Like like it it really takes like. like like every like when I'm looking at like even when I before I really broke through I was also concerned about like how long something takes and I have learned and I have been told it, it's it, when it's good it's ready. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like it, and, it, I mean, it's at, at sideshow they usually they usually give like you know six to eight weeks to for something. Yeah. So it's not it's not. But they uh, they won't. But I mean unless you, unless you've been really bad timekeeping wise they won't. I well I won't either unless the, the higher you know people higher up are you know, putting pressure on me, um, mm -hmm. it, which is kind of slightly rare these days really because we all at the end of the day if we've hired you to do a creative job and you've been working you know like you're not been slacking off or anything we're not we're not going to bite your head off for for not being able to do it you know in in that time um, it is what it, you know we understand that. Um, uh, well, we're all artists as well, by the way. So we understand that these things take time and some things take longer than others for some people. So, mm -hmm. you know, don't, I, this is why I'm saying don't try not to, if you're a student or upcoming artist, try not to fixate on this thing. I've got to do it this fast because right. what will happen is you'll rush it. You won't enjoy it and it will, and it will show in your work. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll be able to see it. So it's very important to, you know, to try and 
slow if when it's funny because when you slow down you actually become you know you, you'll actually understand more of what's going on you'll learn more and then you'll get faster it's funny but it's just the way it works yeah there's an irony to that but yeah 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 um okay actually but before we get to some more comments um guys if you're joining the stream um don't forget to hit the like button on the stream. It really helps us out, helps feed that algorithm monster out there. Um, so please drop a like on the stream, share it out. If you're not subscribed and you like the content, um, consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, all right, so going on, uh, Hannibal is talking back about the AI process. Actually, the whole AI process is art direction. Mid journey is one of the dangerous ones. The people that can't afford an artist don't pull together resources to hire artists. Why would a corporation? Yeah, that's a good point. Yep. Um, and to carry on on that, if a corporation can smash AIs uh, that use their IP for a one button push solution, why wouldn't they shut down their art departments and make a one button corporate solution? I think one interesting point here is the danger of that is that they're putting all their eggs into one basket and um, someone somewhere is going to come a along with an AI a free, uh, you know, like a, 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 a create, you know, a lot of these companies are going to put all, you know, all their focus on this AI and then someone's going to come along with a process that doesn't use it and, can't, and it's going to be so interesting and different that it's really going to throw a spanner in the works. And I think a lot of people are worried about that. So, so mm. you know, to, to um, you know, to devote all that, so, that much resources to one thing is, and these, these companies have a ton of money. They have a stack of money. It's not like they need to save any. They would gladly spend a load of money to, to get better, to get a better results than their competitors. That's the bottom line. So as long as that remains, then I, I can't see a problem particularly. But um, it's definitely a good point. All right. Um, any additional takes on that? Nope. 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 I'm, off a I'm off AI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, yeah. look, man, we, we're giving the people what they want. They're I'm they're I'm asking I'm questions I'm on it. So I don't know. I say I'm personally <laughs> off of it. You're I'm personally off of it. I'm All right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, so Shane says, James, you need a panel line scribe tool and some brass etch stencils. Got them. I got them already. Thanks, mate. Yeah, but I've 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 got them, and I just need the confidence and the and uh, a little bit of practice to use them. Um, so I've got a few old kits that I'm going to practice on, um, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun. I do I do really enjoy it because like it gets me away from the screen, and and one one of the really funny things is it really builds discipline as well because it takes a lot of patience to build stuff and 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 customize and um to build those gun but i also build other model kits as well so you know like um uh I, it's, it's just a lot of fun it's it's still quite quite creative so it's it's um it's something that i want to keep doing i want to know how you're going to do like do you have a like a real like everyone who has a gundams have like really cool display cases for that stuff like like you have any uh plans or how you're going to display all that no, oh, and I'd love to. I'd love to figure out how to do it, actually. So yeah, it's something that I again, I probably need to um, to sort out. But at the moment, I've got them in the tiny little display case in my bedroom, so it probably needs to be somewhere a bit bit more in, on display, I guess. But... Now, did you like the Gundam anime? Like, 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 are you a, a Gu Gundam fan, or are you just like you know, the, the, that's your Lego of choice? I don't. I, <laughs> I like the way I, you put that. that that's yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah, that was yeah. good. That was yeah. Um, I, I don't. I, I I'm on, on and off anime. Like uh, every now and okay. then, I'll, I'll pick it up. But um, I haven't watched a Gundam anime for a while, actually. But I watched a few in my time. Um, I found the mo that um, once you've watched a few, you don't like. I'm kind of satiated. I don't really want to watch many much else. So. Um, okay. So like yeah, I, I I it's not something I'm, I wouldn't say I'm a Gundam anime fan, but it's the it's the the, the kits I like I like the hard. Okay, Lego stuff. of choice, cool. All right. Yeah, Lego yeah, of choice. Lego yeah, no, that <laughs> again, Bradley, that was interesting. That was a great oh, way to yeah, put yeah. that. Yeah. Hey James, have you seen that life size Gundam in Japan? 
I, I didn't get a chance to see it, no, but I've seen photos of it and videos. It looks yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It? yeah it it's awesome. awesome. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, so going uh, going back to your what's good, Mike, uh, uh -huh. Sparky says, oh, yeah, Hubby has one of those controllers, and it's so nice to hold. It is very premium. Feels very nice in hands. And then a lot. <laughs> Dot, 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 dot. All right, so uh, along all those right, lines, right. DK Kashi says, uh, what games are you playing with that? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, control. I've been playing the crap out of Control, man. I, 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 I got that. So I got all these games, and I never played them because I've been busy. And um, I've been slowly making my way from my Switch to – my Switch, sorry. to my From my Steam Deck to my laptop to my desktop. Um, every time I play the the Steam Deck, Bradley shames me uh, because he's like, you have a, a hell of a graphics card on your desktop. You should use it. Um, and so I got this to bounce between things. And I love Control on my desktop, actually. It's freaking Control's sweet. Control's a great, great game. We're going to see you on COD here in a second. I heard with, with as much as you were gushing over it. So It looked, man. So I was watching Raul play the the the, the preview build of, uh, or the whatever that vertical slice is. Oh, my gosh. That thing it's actually the full story. It's yeah, actually it's, the full yeah. story. They, they released a campaign. They, they released a campaign oh. a week early. If you oh, right. I saw game. that. Yeah. All, I will, all I'm interested in is the campaign. So, man, I might get on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, that's that looked, dude. That looks so real. I was asking him last night. We were in the um Discord. If you guys haven't already, you really got to oh, join yeah. our Discord. Let me drop and, a link in the this uh in the chat for this. Yeah, and and every every once in a while, we're trying to make it more frequent. Um, Bradley and I'll hop in. Last night, uh, Ra Raul came in as well, and um and after we were on for a while, Raul fired fired up the new uh, Call of Duty, and that thing looks amazing, like a photo nice. reel. Yeah, it, it does look great. Uh, I dropped a link to the Discord in chat. Um, also, keep in mind, guys, that here coming up, um, we're gonna we're gonna have the feedback se uh, section of the of the stream where uh, um, James Bradley and Mike give feedback to some of your work in progress or finished work. Um, that has to be submitted on the Discord if you guys want to get some in right before uh we do the sec uh kind of the segment uh this this would be the time so get it in and we're also going to stream uh next week i don't know what day I i'm pretty much free like during the week life. as in, in, in uh, addition to our yeah, saturday yeah, yeah, yeah. saturday so like yeah. sometime during the day yeah so i'm sure we'll link up uh you'll see, we're probably the day before you'll see a uh invite for that I mean, we were kicking around the idea. Of, I don't know where, where do we land on it about doing a, a Halloween type of a special too. It's too late um, to do Halloween for me now, but okay. well, and, okay. and notwithstanding, the the next stream falls on the Saturday right before Halloween. Oh, okay, right Wait, after after James. Uh, sorry, mate. no, but, but well, our James. Uh, I mean, our stream with James is is the day after Halloween. Is that what you said? No, Hall Halloween is the Monday after the Saturday stream. All right. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Mike, one dad joke of the day. Which one did oh, I do? Mike's I one even... dad joke of the day. What did I say? I don't even remember. I don't know. I Maybe believe it was the control, holding of the controller. controller. Yeah, I think that was it, you know. That was inadvertent and unfortunate, uh, actually. That, <laughs> that, was inadvertent. That, that, that wasn't supposed to be a joke. <laughs> Isn't that what a joke yeah, is yeah, like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike holds his joysticks yeah. and wiggle him around. Uh, <laughs> um, so Bra uh, Brad, Brad is on the stream. Um, Brad. Yeah, Brad. Monster. Welcome, brother. You, um, you were just showing off your piece a little while ago, man. Yeah, man. Awesome piece. Awesome piece. Awesome. James, if you'd uh, make a tutorial just on how you made that smoke, I would gladly buy no. eight of them. <laughs> I know. That smoke is, is no joke. Oh, I'm just sculpting it, really. Like, I mean, it's just literally... I, I, you'll see me sculpting it and then re-sculpting it until I get what I want. Basically, it's 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 more pig-headedness than anything else. Actually, really. <laughs> You're just throwing yourself against the wall, huh? That's right. Yeah, and yeah. seeing what comes back. <laughs> like this whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a house. Says looking good, y'all. It's just Thank a house. Welcome much. to the stream. 
Nice. Yeah. What's up, if you man? haven't already done so, go ahead and, and drop a like and consider subscribing. Also, join the Discord. Again, I, I dropped the Discord link down there. Um, guys, please uh, submit anything you want to get feedback on. Um, we have a couple of submissions now, which is good. A couple more than we did yeah. before. So that, that's awesome. It shows what's house within uh, the Discord. Right right now? What's our total sub count, Uh We are now at 970. Mike. We can stream to a thousand on this week. We'll stay on until we get a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Wait, a marathon? Hey, a mar mar down. marathon. Down. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna be so close. I hate to not. I hate to not be live when we hit a thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. Be um, let's. Hey, see. if any of the uh, if any of the kids from the uh, from the workshop uh, I was in this week are in, uh, say what's up. Like, say hi to. You. Say hi. Uh, ben says, hear, hear, James. Ruin my white Zaku trying to do paneling. <laughs> Sometimes I read things and I'm like, I wish I knew what I just said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I, hope a, I hope that's a Gundam. Yeah. I think there's some sort of chisel, but... <laughs> <laughs> Like legit, there's sometimes I say some stuff out loud and I'm just like, okay, I, I pray somebody understood what I just said because I know I didn't. Well, uh, do you know what? I knew what you were saying. I thought I'd leave a bit of awkward silence to see yeah, what would happen. Yeah, the, the dot, dot, dot there. Yeah. Um, and, and Ben says control is so good. I love control. There, there's I need a, to a, play it again. I haven't, oh, I've, awesome I've not game. played it properly, really. It, yeah. There's a James, actually, there's a metal piece, uh, where, where the the entire scene is played to like some metal music in the background. Oh my god, that sounds awesome! And wow. it was it's such an amazing like set piece for that yeah. game, like it's yeah. so memorable for me. I'll um, play that again then. Really yeah. good. I want to say it's towards like mid end of the game. Mike, have you hit that yet? I just got to the part where I I have to go get my brother. Um, so okay, I did so you just game. started the game. Cool. Shut uh, up. <laughs> so you just turned it on. Bradley said I'm like three quarters of the way through it. Yeah, yeah. He like you know you would do that in different orders. He he got pretty he got pretty far. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right cool um, i'll come to your defense mike yeah yeah thank you thank you uh let's see here ben says two days prior is his birthday and by the way for anybody who's just joining the stream um i i want to say tomorrow is bradley's birthday so happy yeah. birthday to you no none, none of that um hi, everybody wish bradley a happy birthday if you guys haven't already done so uh drop it in the in the chat i'm sure he would appreciate it Indeed. You know what I also appreciate, James? I like, I like a file? sub, a, 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 a share. James, can you delete your file? Do you do? Wait, so hang on a minute. Yeah, sub tool, delete all. Oh. <laughs> 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 happy birthday, Bradley! Thank you. Yeah, Bradley. I, I, I would be, I would be happy with you giving Bradley the gift of saying that I did that piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. There yeah. You go. That's there a good go. gift. Um. Let's see here. Okay, so Ben Ben is clarifying. Uh, it, it's a Gundam. I tried to do the ah. chisel paneling, but ended up going through the plastic. That yeah, like that's I can I would see. Do. Yeah, of course. When you spent like what seventy dollars on a Gundam or whatever, depending on what oh my scale God. it is. It's, uh, Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, how much? They cost. <laughs> well, some yeah, like uh, so the smaller one. I think this one because it's one forty fourth scale. It's a real grade though. It's pretty good. Um, it's it, it was about fifty quid, I think. So what seventy dollars is that about now? Mm -hmm. Or uh, well, no, yeah, no. So I... actually, it's closer now, isn't it? So yeah, about it's closer. Dollars, something like that. Um, so yeah, quite expensive. Yeah, um, but then is, I do uh... have to import yeah. it. It has to come from Japan, so. Um, <laughs> and then you got to pay the the you didn't, and you didn't get the eBay knockoff. Dude, that's what I'm no, no, no! Don't get the eBay knockoffs. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Ben also says the metal song was such a good portion of the game. It really was. I'm so that, jealous that, about that. Amazing. I'm going to have to get on that. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Mini Chick Studio says my Gundam Bear that was supposed to be customized repainted weathered and all ended up as my favorite toy for my eight-year-old so no oh, no. no more Lovely. work on the 
I, oh, no more work on it. All right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that that's actually pretty cool. Um, but they are amazing things. They're so they're all so articulated as well, considering how detailed they are. And, you know, it's pretty impressive, really. Yeah. Um, a, a, a couple of people are wishing Bradley a happy birthday. Oh, on thank, you, thank you, DK. DK says happy birthday, Frederick. I haven't seen you. Um, I haven't seen you on stream uh, today, Frederick. So welcome to the stream. Same thing with. Uh, oh, help me. Oh, I'm just going to say, oh, <laughs> happy birthday. Brad. Thank you. Thank right? you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ben says mine was a master grade. So I, I just about, oh, so it's just about $20 cheaper. Still hurt. Yeah. Musty. Yeah. So Bradley, what, what are you working on right now? I've given up on doing things the uh, way I want to do it. And I'm just going to brute force everything. So all right. So when you say brute force everything, what exactly Dynamash, are you doing right now? Dynamash, Sculptures Pro. And those are shoulder pads that you're that, that you're rotating yeah. on? Yeah. Or actually, pad. like, what, what what do you call what you clip a cape? Because they're not shoulder pads. They're, that, that has a name, doesn't it? So if I go back to this guy, so it's his shoulder pads. Okay, so yeah. So what I did was because I wanted to make some nice holes in this, but like, I'm I when I'm doing stuff, I'm trying to like get faster, and sometimes I'm always reverting back to like wanting to like make a lower topology, and then like trying to then like sculpt over that. But there's so many brute force applications for me to use. I'm gonna brute force stuff. That's what I'm doing. Okay. When you say you're gonna brute force it over what? Over like doing like. Clean so what up. I wanted. I want it like very clean lines between these two. I wanted, I spent some, I spent most of my time trying to separate these two pieces. And then I spent a lot of time trying to clean up the division between like fill these holes to kind of make it like a separate piece. But really I just needed to feel like a separate piece. And so I'm just going to sculpt my way to completion in doing that. Okay. <laughs> Great. No, I, I mean, the can we isolate that please? Yeah, that's I want to keep that. I want to keep that. I want to keep that. The, the Bradley's <laughs> gonna sculpt his way to completion. Yeah, I'm gonna sculpt my way. To completion. <laughs> <laughs> I like keep that. that. Yeah. Please keep that. Yeah, can yeah. I say something? Uh, wrong? Time, time, time stamp eleven thirty four. Did I say something? Wrong? <laughs> what, what, what did, I, did I say something? Oh no, it was great. Yeah, we'll we'll keep that up. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna put that to what what is it? The auto tune music. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mike, what are you working on right now? Uh, trying to, so in Photoshop, I went and kind of sketched in some of this damage to the, to the pterodactyl dude. Um, and so now I'm actually sculpting that in. So it will, um, uh, I can actually print it. So just kind of digging in and making the tendons and sinew and all that. Okay. What, what process do you do? So you said you, you did something in Photoshop. What did, what did you end up doing? Uh, yeah, sure. So in photo, I jump back and forth, uh, <laughs> between <laughs> being able to talk like an adult man. And yeah. Talking, yeah. You lost your puberty for a sec, but talking like an adolescent child. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's my, that's my mutant power. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So no, uh, I will take a, take whatever my render is into Photoshop. Let's turn all this stuff off and group it real quick. And then I quickly just sketch in the stuff that I want to do, right? So I know I wanted to add more wrinkles to his outfit and I wanted to actually uh, kind of damage the, um, the, the the bird thing on his shoulder and, and, and the pads on him. So it's, it's faster for me just to switch over to uh, Photoshop, figure out what I want to do, and then use that in Pure Ref um, and, uh, and, and actually do it. So that's all I'm doing. Okay. Awesome. Yep. Thank, thank you for that, Mike. Yep. Uh, what about you, Sir James Kane? <laughs> so I've, um, <laughs> as you prob as people probably seen, I've been working away on this smoke, um, and so I'm really just trying to look at the silhouette at the moment and using the flat color material, and just seeing. How, because it, of course, this this smoke makes the sculpt a lot busier. Um, 
but uh, I kind of, I still kind of like it. So, but I just want to make sure it's efficient. Um, the other thing as well is that without the smoke, um, the statue would probably topple over. There's only sort of uh, a few connection points for the figure, so the smoke actually gives us a bit more connection to the statue. So hopefully it will stand everything up a bit better. So just making sure it's contacting properly and and uh, yeah, seeing how busy how busy or not busy my sculpts is, and if I need to do any more work on it. Well, that that's actually really cool that you're using the the smoke as almost an anchor for the mm. the the model itself. Yeah, I think if you can come up with creative solutions for that, I mean, at the end of the day, we we would stick a metal rod up the contact point, so uh, and that normally solves the problem. Um, but you're still going to get lean. Like if a collector's got got it on his shelf for a, a long time, the statue, you know, the weight of it over time will cause the statue to lean. So if you can find other ways of supporting, you know, like a, a figure like that, then um, then then it then it's 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 much better. So yeah, I thought I'd use a smoke um, and uh, to do that. But of course, it's quite busy, so I'm just. Um, trying to figure out uh if it's too busy or not okay great now guys we have quite a few submissions now um oh, great. for the get yeah. get feedback um i know we we went quite a bit over la last week i don't know if we want to start that soon so we kind of say more mm -hmm. in in line with with timing and respecting everybody's time but that i'm going to leave that up to you guys Bradley, what do you want to do? Here for the party. <laughs> what do you say? He said here for the, here for the party. All right, let's. Uh, we can stay oh, in is, late and as long as you want. I'm here for the party. <laughs> yeah, so let, let, this is the thing. We are. We only got one more week with James. We only have one more week. The, yeah. The more, so, I, the more I can work, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. So let's 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 work. Yeah, for James, when you're tired. Well, you're tired, but Ra I know Raul may have to like drop. He can't stay long. But James, whenever you're, whenever you, whenever you're ready, you want to go have dinner. You let us know. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. So it's it's caught. It's twenty to five now. I can go and easily until half past six. So I can go for another hour and a half or hour and money. Whatever. That's where we at. Awesome. Right. All right. Yeah, all right cool so then with that being said there's a couple of pieces of chat here so shane says gundam nah uh what is this machine krieger is where Blimey. it's at <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, do you know what i think uh, is that something that sideshows so I, i've seen stuff like that I, it rings a bell does look pretty there's some metal it's it's like metal as well if i remember rightly like actually made out of metal or oh, there's some stuff like that i've seen so, a sideshow sort of sell which looks pretty awesome so but yes it's another bit of geekery for me to lose myself in so i try and avoid it as much as possible <laughs> uh -huh. yeah um and then ben, ben says he saw those only a year ago uh that's a comment to shane uh and they look cool but just makes me want titan Titanfall and Battletech stuff. Yes. Now, DK mentioned, and this was to James, I saw when this chat came up, um, that your uh, kind of model statue, it, it looks sick, because it does. Yeah. <laughs> the one-eyed the one wonder over there. Uh, Wait a minute. Doing his Wait thing. A maybe, don't, maybe don't say that. No. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Um, I don't so, want that to stick. I don't you want don't want that. that. That's your that's your new thing. Um, we we're gonna change that assistant art director of XM Studios to. Uh, I like I like Sir James better. Yeah, Sir James. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We don't we don't get strikes with Sir James. No. Uh, the one night legend. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's, it's sort of a silly question, but. Uh, what matte cap is James using? Looks oh, like yeah. uh, the clay. Looks like the clay, but it has nicer lighting. Yeah. So these uh, matte caps are by Zebro. That's uh, Z B R O. Um, and if you do like, I th I'm sure if you do a Google for Zebro, um, I think I got uh, this stuff. 
Yeah, no. for Zebro Mac caps, you'll find him. I think he's got a gum road now, actually, so you can he get. Does. I mean, if you do get stuff from him, make sure you give him some money because they are really, really good Mac caps. Mm -hmm. I always use them. He's been around in the scene for ages as well, if I remember yeah, rightly. Like he's been around for years. So, um, yeah, highly recommend them. They are really useful because um, there's not a lot of other Mac caps that give you the the right sort of light and. Like uh, I, I guess for a lot of people, the orange would take a bit of getting used to, but it's still my favourite one. I know a lot of people use it now as well, but um, yeah, it's still my favourite one for just sculpting. I find the basic materials a bit too severe. You know? Awesome. Um, so DK says Z zebra clay set. Yep. Um, right. Yeah. You can get those on Gumroad. It looks like a couple of people are seconding that. Right, uh, Ben says, I uh, have to add ZBrush in the search because I'm getting a bunch of uh Walmart links. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, there you go, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I still Matt Caps, but <laughs> yeah, there, there you go, James. Do you ever mess around with Monster Clay? No, I'd love to, though. It's something that I would really like, like to just have a have a little kind of play around with i haven't sculpted anything traditionally for a long time so um yeah it'd be something that i'd like to i, I actually bought a load of um not monster clay but uh, what's the other stuff um doesn't it's the oven baked stuff uh, uh, that, sculpting. Uh, sculpting? yeah sculpey i've got a load of that and i did some stuff in that but uh, a yeah. while ago but I, it's just the time it's having the time for me really and the space as well you know, despite, to clear the space on my desk and everything, and that's—I mean, going back to what someone in the comments was saying, you know, like it's just e digital art is so easy to just pick up and do, and I think that's why mm -hmm. I keep going back to it. You know, yeah, it's true. Guys, if you haven't already done so, uh, and you guys are new to the stream, welcome. We appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to drop a like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you guys. If you guys are in um, kind of the 3D art community, uh, share this out with anybody that you think uh, uh, would would enjoy the the content. So we appreciate all of you guys being here. I need to make new folders. Yeah, a little a little dedicated time right now. Chat, chat. Um, nothing to read here in chat. Just uh, watching James right now. So, um, who wants to go see Black Adam? You. Yeah, I'd love to see that. It yeah. didn't. Re it didn't review very well. I hate those people. <laughs> didn't it like when someone showed the, the rotten tomatoes thing and like it was something crazy like the audience had 89 percent approval yeah and then the critics okay. were like 44 or something it was mm. just ridiculous like separation of you know, you know why like, yeah you know why uh -oh. you know why yeah. you know why because those people think thor love and thunder is a masterpiece let me wait, wait, hold on put a pin in that for a <laughs> in for a second. let me tell you what just happened I had my little I had my little tendons on here and ready to go, mm -hmm. and then I merged them down to my pterodactyl so I could dynamesh it together, mm -hmm. and I went up to do a history save state so I could project my details back, mm -hmm. and now the tendons are gone. No. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So that's uh some major that's BS. Bummer. Yeah. I can't get them back. Damn. Okay. Great. Ah, great. No luck. Save your work, everyone. Off from the beginning. Yeah. Save Sid says, wow, that's gorgeous. I think she was, look, this was when we were on, James. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Never his face, though. We, all, we, all, we always get the top of his head, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I need to get a better webcam. Sorry. Yeah. Guys. The, the rest of the screen the stream is uh, good. So, uh, Stylist League has easily been the best in interaction I've had with the ZBrush community I've had in years. Thank oh, you, cool. Mike, Brad, oh. and Raul for building this and letting us meet cool people like James and Brad. Astrid, oh, 
We are the stylist community. Not just the paintbrush. <laughs> stylist community. The right? set, yeah, the stylist. If you're drawing, stylist, if you're yeah. drawing, painting, anything with a stylist, being creative, that's the community we serve. I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in on Bradley's face for dramatic effect. Can can you say that with with we the are. gusto? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right? And yeah. thank you for the great feedback that you've given us. Yeah. Absolutely. I would like I would like to say thank you very much for saying that. You don't have yeah. to say that. Just you don't have to do that. Well, look, at, at the end of the day, it's a community that really makes us great, right? Like it, it, it's the interaction with all of you guys in chat. It's the inter, it's the interaction with everybody in the Discord. Um uh you <laughs> really it's the community right it's everybody everybody else kind of coming in here and making this a home away from home or a virtual home a second life <laughs> hold on ben says that we can use it for advertising so let's do this advertising advertising, advertising. Sn snippet <laughs> Sn snippet <laughs> speaking of which if you're not already in the community go ahead and um wait 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 hey j just to clear the nda because you said yeah we got it for the tape we got it for the tape we got it thanks ben <laughs> yeah if you want to continue seeing streams like this go ahead and drop a sub like like the channel like like the stream join the discord community where we have a lot of a lot of good stuff by mind you i i'm always impressed with everything that i'm seeing in there whether it's uh, the work in progress, everything that you guys drop in to get feedback, uh, Brad, uh, you know, eh, doing his 3D printing stuff, uh, it, it, everything that's in there is amazing. Yeah, we've got some great participation. Absolutely. So, so James, I'm gonna uh, put you on the spot. All right, put you on the spot. There's yeah. how I would do something, and then there's how you would do something. How would you go about making chains? <laughs> oh. Well, actually, you just go um, so well, the chain like of... looping around a character. Oh, you already did it. So let's see how you do. Like, how do you go? What about you're doing your chains? So I've got uh, an IMM brush, of course, because I'm not crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 um, let me just find it for one sec. Um, do have some? Do have it somewhere? Uh, and then I literally it never gives me what I want specifically though but it gets everything in the right place for me to manipulate yeah um god it's taking me ages to find it right found it so yeah i've got this one Ooh, i do I apologize i can't I remember I who's... I can yeah i don't know who who's who's who is it is i'll try and find it i'll try and find who who, who made it but um so for example uh where can i use it i'm just going to draw it out on here actually so yeah. if you've got like uh, i'll just draw it out one of the big things is to go to your stroke panel and then um kind of you you've, you you can use these settings here to kind of adjust how this plays with the surface um most of the time i will take off snap and then better click on bend end because that gives me although it's going to clip into stuff i can always move it out later um but you'll find with the with the IMM stuff that if you do this, if you want a really tight, you know, like um, mm -hmm. a curve on it, it won't let you do it because um, of the way it's set up. So you, there's a couple of things you can do. I mean, you can you can adjust the modifiers here. Most of the time, that will just mess the brush up um, and, and won't achieve anything because normally this is set up with the best settings anyway. So what I would do is apply this. And as you can see, actually already, look, you've got misaligned chains and stuff. On yeah. um, so what I would do in this instance is I would just go to an auto groups on that. And so it groups each chain and then just in, uh, select each individual chain piece and adjust it, and, uh, and adjust it accordingly. So. <laughs> Um, so just, yeah, um, and then just rotate it with the, um, now you got me Googling for a uh, chain brush. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. I wish I could tell you who, whose it was. It's, I've had it for ages as well. Um, so just to put that into context and just let me undo that. Um, so this chain up here, you can, I actually did it with using the same technique really. Um, so literally. Um, the 
curve did not give me what I wanted. And you can see I've still got a mismatched uh, chain link there. So I'll have to go in and change that. Um, and I just, just uh, uh, finesse it until it looks good. If you've got a small chain like this, and it's just going to take you 10, you know, like five minutes to, to sort of solve the problem. So I would... Um, I would do that all the time, you know, like uh, if you've got a big chain, well, that's going to be more of a problem. So, uh, I, but luckily, I don't think I've sculpted stuff like that for a while with big chains. So I managed to get away with it. But um, yeah, you with bigger chains, you can use, um, I think there is a plugin or is it under stroke? There's a curves helper um, option under stroke and that lets you make a Z sphere chain. Uh, to guide the the um, the uh, I met the um, ah. curve brush, that's actually very useful if you're doing a big part with a lot, you know, lot say like loads of chains hanging down and they interconnect or they interact with something. Um, okay. That would be you could use these spheres for that. That's quite that's come in handy quite a lot actually. Let's snip this bit off. Okay. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Bradley, by the way, DK DK mentions, um, I'm not sure if it's from there, but I know that there is one, the ZBrush uh, IMM repository on Z, uh, ZBrush Central. It might be from there. That's a good call, actually, because I, I was remember finding that, that thread a while, a while back uh on zebra center it's quite an old one if i remember correctly it's zebra um, china yeah. repository i don't even know i think if i go i remember seeing that a long time ago highlighting mike here yeah i'm gonna save this time before i uh <laughs> try this one this is like amazing uh, I, I remember seeing this for a long time but i'm gonna like uh re-link that in the chat through all the, the items thing like, you found it no but the repository uh, oh this it's been yeah, ages it's like, since i've seen this but this thing is like yeah. i forgot how useful this thing was yeah there's loads of stuff in there there's all different stuff uh types of chain mail as well if i remember right there's a really great chain yeah. mail brush that's super cool yeah, very useful. No one likes sculpting chainmail. <laughs> it's not good. It's not happy times at all when you have to do chainmail, uh -huh. especially for print. Yeah, uh, Ben says follow Mike's example. Uh, sculptors and save now. Save right. now. All right. Let's see. How often do you save, Mike? Uh, the answer is not enough. Yeah, <laughs> clearly <laughs> enough. Um, no, I, uh, I don't even know, you know, I get, I, I, it depends. Like sometimes I get into a flow and I forget to save and that's when I'm very happy for a quick save. Um, but, uh, yeah, it, it depends. All right. I'm going to try something. Let's see if this works. What I figured is I can, if I can dynamash this together so that I don't have any undercuts on this then I can use that uh, capture brush to save this this one piece of uh, kind of rip in his arm and uh, and then draw it out so I don't have to do it anymore. So we'll see if that works. Probably won't, but we'll try it. So James, let me ask you a question. I'm yeah. at, I know there's a way to do this. So I'm at almost a million polys on this, on this guy, right? Yeah, yeah. And what I want to do is I want to Dynamesh, but I don't want to increase or decrease the active polygons. Isn't there something I can do that kind of locks it in? So you, wait, what's the problem the again? So you, 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 it's resolution based. So yeah, got, you, know how, yeah. you know how sometimes something. if you change the resolution, either it's too much or it's too little. I think there's a way that I can keep what I have right now, but I don't know how to do it. Yeah. Um, I mean, I just, I tend to just re, um, Dynamesh, then reproject. Yeah. So cr create a copy, uh, Z remesh, and then project what the Dynamesh on there. That's what I end up doing too. I, I mm. thought I'll say that it was smarter. Okay. So that's not too bad. Like, I just upped the resolution to 816 and it kept 
it kept most of the detail. So, and then I would. There is um, there there is the Dynamesh target, isn't there now as well? But I haven't used that. I haven't really. So I, I you know like I I'm terrible really. I should really use more features, but I I don't really tend yeah. to take the risk most of the time because yeah, I I know same. if I'm doing something i want to know that it works in the way that i want it to and using new stuff you don't know like it's a bit of a secret center isn't it you don't really want any surprises when you're doing stuff so i think i found it oh great well done uh is schoolio says use the eye picker on dynamesh on a dot yeah you, 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 yeah that's what I, yeah it's like um Oh, this this the the open up the tool here. Is that the the circle? Is that someone? Yeah, there's no, there's a picker. It, I think if you if you pull Dynamesh away there's from the animated stuff, it, but if you go to the where it's in its regular setting, there's a picker. But I pick a picker next to the resolution. Uh, yep, uh, it's right where the resolution slider is. This thing is says picker. Oh yeah. Okay. I've been meaning to move that over. Back. Yeah, you slide it to wherever oh, no. you want it to sample. Nice. All right, thanks, guys. Sometimes the downfall when you have your own custom UI and you move from version to version, you're like, <laughs> I, I will. I'll add that over there. I didn't know what it did before, but I will keep that. Thank, thanks, Julio. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Thank you, man. Oh yeah, that's not bad. Okay. Bradley, what are you working on right now? Change. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. And James, what about you? I'm putting some holes in this smoke <laughs> because, uh, yeah, I just felt it was a bit too thick. Um, so, and I wanted an element of wispiness to it near the end. So, yeah, I just thought I'd um, add a few bit holes and stuff on there to thin it out a little bit. Because I want to like link the right. Do you have thirty chain options in your IMM? Yeah, well, at least I have a little more. There's sixteen here. Okay, so th I believe this pack. Go to your uh, chain one. Let me see what chain one looks like. Oh, there you go. It's, it's that one there. Look. Oh, okay. So that's chain five. Yes, this is. I think this is. Yeah. There's only so many chains you can do, right? I, mean, I know they're all, they're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah. James, save 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 your work, dude. I just now my yeah, control crash out on me. Control S. Yeah. Um, Sid oh. Cordon says for some reason screaming at us in all caps. <laughs> you can yeah, also try. You got to read it just like you wrote it there. Uh. Uh. I, I I think I'm good. I'll, I'll save everybody's ears. But you can also drag from the slider to the target mesh to pick the resolution. Yeah, that's that's actually what I ended up doing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm lost. <sighs> lost. Wait. So James, you said you don't watch a lot of anime nowadays. Not as no. I can't, what's the what was I watching last time? I was watching a few things. Um, I just can't, it's been so long. It's been about a year since I watched anything actually. Really, um, well, I had to watch because I did the sculpt for an official sculpt for Dororo, mm. and I really, really got into that because I had to watch it for the statue, oh. and uh, that that I really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was a really cool series, and so. I was very, very proud of the statue as well. And I think partly because I had so much fun with it and, and because I became a fan of the anime, you know. Um, I just trying to, there was another one that I, I can't remember what it was called that I kept watch, kept going back to. They're kind of zany, aren't they? They're like, um, uh, I can't, I, if I remember it, I'll, can't, I'll come back to it. But uh, okay. yeah, it was, but yeah, I, every now and then I, I, um, I indulge myself. <laughs> then I get bored with it. Actually, I find it, then I, then it's sort of the appeal run runs out for me. So, um, and then I'll probably pick it up again in a year or something. It's funny, isn't it? But... So there, there's a couple in chat that are being recommended. So, uh, um, uh, Ana, Anatasi, 
uh says uh check out vineland saga it's a great oh anime. yeah 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 um yeah. and then ben says chainsaw man i've been i've been seeing a lot of oh, stuff oh yeah on yeah that, yeah right? chainsaw man I've, heard, I've seen a load of stuff on that yeah yeah definitely yeah now i i uh a couple of weeks ago wrapped up edge runners um and that was incredible oh um, is it good as well oh, i'm gonna yeah. have to watch that as well I I, I just started it. It. oh you, you bradley you started you started edge runners yeah, I just started it. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, Edge Runners mm -hmm. was amazing. After a certain point, I just couldn't stop. Um, oh, and, great. Uh, yeah, no, it, it was good. The the one thing I don't I don't think they're gonna uh, maybe maybe they'll make some more, but um, just kind of knowing how Netflix does their their oh. anime normally normally you don't get a ton. Like uh, I think that was more CD Project Red finding a distribution for their thing versus yeah Netflix. now. If you've seen the interview with the like creative director mm -hmm. uh, of that from um, the Friends Per Second podcast, um, Skill Up does that on on his channel. Uh, they they were talking about the process and how long they effectively started that anime with the with the game, yep. um, like it, and so it took <laughs> that long for them to get that anime out. That, out. that sounds wicked. Yeah. Yeah. It um, was um, the one that I watched. What I was watching was Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaba, right? The uh, Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer. I really yeah. like that. Yeah, that that was really cool. And there was a film, and there's a second season. I haven't seen those yet. So, uh, at some point, I hope to uh, to see that. Yeah, uh, Ben and Ben says um, Edge Runners was so good. All the feels. Uh, yeah, he, he's <laughs> he's right actually. Um, Ben says, uh, Studio Trigger, the animation studio that did Edge Runners, uh, made a commentary on season two. Oh, really? So they're saying that they're gonna they're gonna do one. That that's interesting. Um, uh, uh, uh not. <laughs> I keep I keep messing up the name. Um, Anastasia. A A Oh my God, Edge Runners. Yeah. Yeah, Edge Runners was was pretty fantastic. Uh, also, the Star Wars anime uh, episodes were. Oh, I like those. Those are good. Yeah, I did get to watch those. I, I, I think I didn't watch the last one. I think, but I watched most of them. I thought they were pretty cool. Was that on Disney Plus? That's right. Yeah. 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 I just thought that was all right. I didn't love that. Really? You guys? Yeah, you guys. I, I like some of the characters. I like some of the characters on there. I thought they were pretty cool. I'd like. I, I, I tend take. to think like. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think I, I like to think of it like can I sculpt them or not sort of thing I go through that kind of thing so I liked I yeah. thought some of them had potential, pretty cool potential Endor made me fall asleep I gave um, up on Endor after the first yeah, episode I, I, couldn't, so. I couldn't do it man I tried I tried I might, I might go back I got, I got sleepy uh, Brad, Bradley already knows what my stance on Star Wars is like I, I I used to be one of the biggest Star Wars fanboys ever, mm. uh, and they they completely destroyed my care and love for that franchise. Um, it's oh, yeah. it. I, I I just didn't like the. Uh, I, I was waiting for something to happen on Endor, and I didn't get it in the very first episode. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna. It's not fair. <laughs> but life isn't fair sometimes. <laughs> Look yeah, at well, James's sculpt. Is that fair? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, look, uh, I, as I've been mentioning to to Bradley in the past, like I, I, I don't think Disney knows what to do with old characters. They do a much no. better job with their own characters. So, like, that's why the for me the the three the three uh, sequels were were a hot a hot mess um yeah but when you go to uh um when you go to uh, um not the wait, book wait, of are, you, are, you, are you supposed to say that luke's not supposed to pass out from exerting himself that's, i do no. do that no. yeah i mean I, that's, I'm, not, that's not supposed to happen <laughs> they they don't know legacy characters they just simply don't i don't but, get it. no no but i think they do a better job with characters they create which is why Andor is a little unfortunate because Rogue One was pretty amazing. Well, Rogue One is definitely my favourite out of the new stuff. Yeah. I think um, I like I really like Solo as well. I thought Solo got a massively bad rap. 
for, I for actually, I, I did enjoy Solo. Uh, you know what? But but again, that goes back to my Disney thing. Had they made like literally taken the Solo name out of it, and it's not Han yeah, Solo, yeah. and it's just like, yeah. that entire thing could have been self-contained. And it would have yeah. been an amazing movie. But the problem was is that they didn't understand what made Han Solo Han Solo. Yeah, so as facts. a character yeah. piece, it was wrong. But as yeah. a general movie, it was pretty good. It was. Pre- I, I enjoyed it. I, I I thought it got a bit like it got a lot of stick because of the you know it was released a little bit just after the the second new mo- um, Skywalker saga movie and yeah I remember watching that at the, you know that actually literally at the at the cinema and think thinking yeah this is um this is not it chief so bradley and i did we see the third one together as well i remember that we saw the sa- the saw second one, one in the sequence uh, we and i remember coming out of that movie going hey that was actually fun right but the third movie i mean it had the don't get it wrong terrible plot holes the, and, yeah, and so yeah, on but yeah. i i actually had fun watching that movie i did not have fun with the third with, with the third one in the series i was like what are you guys doing like they, it it felt like they were trying to do an avengers movie um in star wars like it, it just yeah. it didn't it, it didn't feel right um so so yeah, and I was a I, huge Star Wars fan. I think, like literally, they they could have saved a lot of time and just shown the last one. If they just shown the last film, <laughs> but like all of that build up, like I, I don't know, they just felt they threw a lot of the build up in the. In well, there the was film, no build up, right? Like, in the like, second, well, like all the the previous stuff they they tried to build up anyway. Mm-hmm. They should have like, um, and they, they just destroyed it all in the last movie. So they might as well just release the last movie. Um, yeah. But did you have, did you guys ever check out their concepts? Because some, I think one of the artists released the con- the original concepts for the third film, and they, and the story was much different. Yeah. Like at the end, there was a big rebellion in Coruscant, and they had all these like uh, they had Finn there, like with all these sort of, like a- a- ATSTs and all this sort of stuff, See, sort now, of rebelling. Cool. And that would have been really cool, but for some reason they didn't really see it as a worthwhile movie. Yeah, which was kind of weird. So, yeah. So I'm gonna get to chat here. Um, uh, ben says that a uh, second season of <laughs> Demon Slayer. Uh, is 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 coming? I think right. Second season of Demon Slayer recaps. Oh no, it recaps the movie, so you know. Um, oh right, okay. So watch the movie content. first, right? Okay, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, Thank let's you. Let's see here. Uh, Attentive Slug says um, on Andor is dope. Um, yeah. Uh, Denitra Douglas says, "Hey, Bradley," and that's a that's a Swedish hey. Hey, Denitra, how you doing? That, that's a Swedish I, 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 I hey. work with uh, Denitra. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hannibal artist, says Ma- mad sus. Sorry, Bradley. What, what were you saying? I said dope artist, by the way. Yeah? Yep. Awesome. I only work with dope people. That's not true, because you work with me sometimes. Luke Skywalker was uh, was so <laughs> neutered in the movies. Yeah, he really was. Yeah, yeah, did not do enough with him. Yeah, totally. well, I mean, they they completely. It, it was a character assassination. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about it. Legit, <laughs> like, legit feel about it. <laughs> it's like, Go ahead, Bradley. <laughs> Go ahead. Yep, assassinated his character. Mm-hmm. Uh, Attentive Slug says, to me, Solo is on par with Rogue One. Very good. Again, I actually really enjoyed Solo it, because I kept telling myself that that's not Han Solo. I, as long as I as long as I went, no, that's not Han Solo. I was just like, this is a fun movie. <laughs> uh, and then Ben says, hearing this, I'll give Solo a chance since Rogue One was enjoyable. Yep. Yeah, it's an enjoyable um, film. It's worth giving it, it a go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, it is. And I don't think it deserved a lot of the vitriol that it got. Again, had they pulled the name out of it and and called it Jimmy, um, the movie would have been a lot better. <laughs> well, they did, they did the same with the Mars movie as well. Yeah. They did the, the Mars, you know, but they just called it John Carter. Exactly. And uh, yeah. no one knew what it was. So, like, and the. the wait, wait, I can admit, I like that movie. Like, 
I like that Thank movie. You, James. I'm Thank a fan you, James. of the book. I, I've been well. looking for a safe yeah. space to say I, I really enjoyed <laughs> that movie. Dude, you're, you're safe. <laughs> <laughs> I actually enjoyed that movie. Yeah. yeah you, you well, it, it, well, it was well. a bit of fun adventurism and all that. You know, like it's very light, light, bit of light entertainment, really. But like, and the books are like that as well. The book and the books were written for that reason. You know, they were light entertainment. Um, but yeah. the um, it, the marketing they just got drastically wrong. You know. Um, but it had potential like the, it's got it's a fantastic world you know like the world building is really good so it's a shame they couldn't make it work um because yeah the the, the the world building in the books is just awesome there were yeah. supposed to be more movies right that's right i think the taylor whatever kitsch is it kitsch um mm -hmm. was uh, signed up for a free movie deal if i remember rightly so for that so because i was a big fan of the martian books, so i was really looking forward to it Mike, it looked like you had something to say. I feel, like little, uh, I feel like it was a little racist to the Martians. Just saying. <laughs> oh, oh, my opinion. Only my opinion. Yeah, just just one, just one man and a mic. That, that. That's all. <laughs> like, but, you know those Martians? They weren't treated fairly. No, nope. no, nope. I don't think so. But I, I actually, I enjoyed the movie. I enjoyed John Carter. That came out a few years ago, though, right? Like that yeah, was it came out ages, two thousand thirteen, wasn't it, or something? Yeah, oh. yeah that was a, that was. A and it just became age. safe for me to say I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, 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 what are you talking about? I, I didn't have a problem with John Carter. Yeah, overall, I'm like overall, you know, some people. Oh, know, really I mean, <laughs> listen, what is the guy who proudly uh, tells the world how much he loves the. Uh, Hocus Pocus? Oh, all day. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, yeah. Why, why would you Hocus be Pocus. worried about John Carter? Like, dude, come on. Because no one's really hating on Hocus Pocus, all right? Then you're a monster. Oh, no. Here we go. Here we go. I, 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 I still haven't seen the second field. one. Yeah, I still haven't I, seen I, the second just one. Just so you know, I'm waiting for Halloween to watch the second one. It's mm, that yeah. special to me. All right. I'm going to watch it. Bradley, because of you, I'm going to watch it now. You do it. You do it. Uh, yeah, speaking of which... Me. Uh, uh, James, did you did you hit up any um, Sanford and Sons or? I haven't done it. No, I forgot. Damn it! This week. I mean, to be fair to me, like I've only had one. Yeah, eye, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But I promise, guys, I'll do one before the next um, the next stream. Definitely. All right. All and right. guys, for anybody who's joining the stream right now, um, my camera froze, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that off for a sec. Um, for anybody who just joined the stream, uh, please consider liking the stream um, and, and subscribing to the channel. If you're an artist of any form, join our Discord. There's a, a lot of good work that's being shared there. Um, and that's also where we pick uh, kind of pieces of art to, to give feedback on. So, um, so yeah, I'll, I'll drop a link to that in, in the chat here in a second, to the Discord. Did my camera come back? There we go. It keeps freezing, man. It's driving me nuts. You know the greatest thing they, they put in the G plugin is curve helper, so I can delete curves. All right. I'm dropping the Discord the Discord link now for anybody who cares to join the Discord. They care. Like, they care. They care. All right. I didn't have a problem with Solo, by the way, except for the fact that he probably knew Chewbacca for a good, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes before he gave him a nickname. I thought that was a little weird. That was weird. Yeah. yeah. Well, you've already given me, a, well, you've known me what? Let's think. <laughs> Six <laughs> hours. I've already got a nickname as well. So yeah. there you go. <laughs> you, you got a card. Yeah. We, did we, we stuck with Sir James though, right? Yeah. I think All we right. Okay. No, no. Okay, that's good. That's, that was my way of checking what, what one it was. <laughs> where, 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 did, where did we land on it? Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's Sir, that's Sir where, we, where we landed. That, <laughs> that's where we're going to land on. Um, because I don't think El Capitan Battle Chicken stuck, so uh, we got to no. gotta do Sir James. Um, yeah, yeah. So Ben says uh, your computer can't handle the cam and all of those mo monster monitors you have in in your rig. Yeah, I have um, I have four monitors that that are outputting. Um, and that does not include the, the stream deck or my Spotify car thing that's also uh, kind of hooked up to uh, hooked up to the monitors here. So I have quite a few screens 
looks like Minority Report all up in here. I feel like um, you were telling us not to floss on screen at one of the meetings. What did I do? Was that Bradley? No, that was Bradley. Oh. Oh. Uh, you see how Bradley's not saying nothing, right? I see. I see. I, I share. I share my setup on Discord. <laughs> Someone's at my door. I'll be. I'll be right back. Don't answer it. All came from inside the house. <laughs> I hate when I have to make things make sense. In general, <laughs> yeah, in general, yeah, in general, <laughs> in general. Wait, it doesn't connect to the badge, Bradley, on yours? No, the way his uh, here, uh, where's my here? So many windows, there it is, right here. Or I thought I had it. The way his clips, it clips to these armor pieces, uh -huh. and then up to the neck in here. Huh. Okay. You would think that zippered constantly would be falling down. Hey, just because they don't make sense doesn't mean I can't. If you like look at like a lot of it, like it's like not really even on him. Like his shoulders are not that broad. <laughs> yeah. But by the power of his fear, it's just sitting there. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back now. Hey. I'm happy you weren't kidnapped. <laughs> uh, I'm bite sized enough that I could be, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like you see from from taken. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, nobody's coming after me though. Chewy might. Chewy, oh, Chewy might. Raul, you wanna, you wanna? I mean, we don't have a date yet, you guys, but you wanna talk about the fact we have something coming to the community soon? Mm, interesting. Something. You wanna send uh, me a private chat so I know what you're talking about? <laughs> some of our. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, the the merch stuff. But I look, I I don't know when we're getting ready to release. So I everybody oh, knows we'll, merch is on its way. It, though. We can tease it. Yeah, yeah. You want to do that? Merch is on the way. Um, as of right now, we 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 have some misspelled caps. So we're we're working on. <laughs> <laughs> my legitimately, my all, all right, bro. You can yeah. tease the store. Don't send. Don't like. You could show this. The the, the uh, uh, yeah yeah you, yeah. You, maybe you maybe don't do that. You, you can... All right, I'll be right back. Let me grab some stuff. Yeah, we got gear, y'all. Got gear coming. Bradley, we're gonna be busy. We need to go back and um, hold on, hold on. I don't get much compliments. Let me absorb this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> you want to keep that up there for? Thanks. Maybe for the rest of the show. How about that? You know, Is that long enough. Normally, when you're immortal among gods, you know, any light you can get, you'll take it. I'll take it. Take it. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. You know even better? James, yeah. if you just delete yours. It's not gonna what? get old. It's not gonna get old. Not, not until you do it, right? You talking All to right. Jim? I'm yep. gonna save it first and then delete it. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so guys, we have some some caps getting ready to to come in uh, again. Spilled right, um, and a good difference. Is one of the things that that we added to to these is going to be a little SL badge here on the side too. Everything is uh, embroidered. 
Um, and then we have uh, a new a new style coming out. Uh, we got the the graffiti awesome. style that's going to be coming out on. Oh, it's blurring it on the camera. So we have the graffiti style that's going to be coming out on on merch when we release the merch store. So um, we're that's going to come in all sorts of different colors and. Uh, you know the different types of items so we're really excited to be releasing that we're going to be releasing that here very shortly um so guys stay tuned um we will have the merch coming up uh in the next couple weeks uh one of the things that's really causing delays for us is we're we're purchasing these things uh on kind of on our own uh so we can verify quality so we want to make sure that anything that goes out is um is quality for the community so yeah you'll have a lot of options too it's far more than hats and shirts so i got that's true we have some hoodies coming um uh, if you're if you're a coffee drinker which uh james might be yes uh, you know, they, we, we got we got some mugs yeah <laughs> but as as people pointed out on the discord this uh this hat again he's just spell. gonna keep on going back to that well you guys <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going to it. Just you know, you know, in case you, Mike, in case you miss Mike, it. If, if you if you like, I can I can show the the God tier stuff if you want. You can you can. So I ordered uh, what Bradley has is dope. I'm I'm getting the 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 black version of this champion style. But you want to show what you got yeah. coming? Right. Champion baby. There you go. Embroidered. Yeah, nice. Embroidered. Very nice. Yeah. Let's see if Embroidered. we can see the. Let's see if we can see the. Uh, can you see the, the stitching? Stitching on that is legit. Mm. So you know, so you oh, guys know. Nice. I actually, yep. I washed. I wanted to make sure everything was cool. It like I actually just went through the laundry. It's been washed and hung dry, not in the dryer. Yeah. But it's a champion hoodie. So nice. you'll be able to make different options with this one. I think these will be limited. We yeah, those are limited edition. Yeah. These yeah. might be limited how we do this. Actually, so you guys know, the graffiti style overall, it, it might be a limited thing that we do. There's different versions of it. So that's a that's a that's a Mike Thompson, that's a Mike Thompson exclusive, you guys. Yeah, that's and <laughs> Bradley, you just chucked that like straight across the room. <laughs> stickers, some, yeah. some stickers. Yeah. You know what? The black sticker would have looked a little bit better on that. On Don't that. tell me what I like. I, I'm just what saying. Like. I'm just throwing I, that out there. I like, Co right? composition. You like what you like. You composition. Like, you like, I like what I like. <laughs> <laughs> composition. Yeah. Uh, so guys, yeah, like, like I mentioned, and so that you guys are aware too, like the, all of the shirts on there are going to be champion. Like we want, we really wanted to make sure that the, um, that, that the quality of everything was, was up for the community. So, yeah. So the rest of it is coming in this week. So once we get the rest of the products that we have being made in, and we are able to like touch them, fill them, wash them, <laughs> you guys will. Like it, it, you'll be able to uh, to purchase them soon. Yeah. So, um, Hannibal says uh, the Dynamash. Uh, wait, hold on. Did, did you guys go over any chat while I stepped away? No, I don't think we did. Uh, okay. Do we? No. No. So the the Dynamash picker button may not give you the poly target, but it'll just give you the same res. Yeah. No, they, it worked like a charm. It actually, was great. Okay. Uh, Schoolio says your early piece looks sick AF. Thank you, Schoolio. Again, they're gonna get better. Like so, the new version of this hat is is actually better than this one. I'm I'm waiting for mine to come back in. Um, so yeah, thank you for that. Um, <laughs> but he also says that Bradley, your your piece looks sick too. Uh, ben says he can't find that stupid chain. <laughs> Oh didn't no! You, didn't you send the, you, Bradley? You put the the link in there in in. in Wasn't the it for the right one? So I found it. It's a little bit overpriced, so I found a better one in ArtStation. Uh, <laughs> I'll send I'll send you the link to the one I bought in ArtStation at on ArtStation. Okay. Um, 
Hannibal says there's an add-on that does what you mentioned. It's either uh, uh, Kettleston or so much ZBrush add-on. So much, so much. Yeah, so okay. much ZBrush. So yeah, much. Oh, okay. so, so much. That was good. Yeah. That was good. No, no, you did good. <laughs> ben says release the typo hats. Maybe we'll limit edi edition this too. <laughs> we're saving those. One. We're saving those for Christie's, you guys. Yeah, yeah. These are the <laughs> air the air print Pokemon cards, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, let's see here. Um. There's a a quite a few pieces of chat on the merch. Uh, so the cap is looking oh, super cool uh, from Zero Deep. Thank you. But but the T though. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Ben's liking the mugs. Zero Deep says so much a coolest stuff in one stream. Tough to take it. Nice. Yep. Tell a friend. Uh, Shane asked for the link to the merch. We have not launched a merch store just yet, so that will be coming soon. You guys will see it. We will launch it on a stream, though. Um, and one of the cool things is we'll... we'll um, actually, I'm going to keep that to myself. We'll, we'll hold a little mystery for this stuff. <laughs> so, James, um, good, news, good news, though, is as a guest on the show... Yeah. You will be getting you will be getting yes. uh, uh, some swag, and yes. so yes, I love all swag. of our previous Everybody. guests can look forward to some some SL swag coming yeah. your way. Yeah, you like stickers, right? That's all. No. That's all we can. That's all we can do now. Nah. <laughs> nah. 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 You go. Have me going right? there for a minute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hype them up just to slap them back down. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, James, do you like photocopies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, a, a nice PNG he can print out. <laughs> uh, Mini G Studio says. Uh, talking about the future, did you guys give any thought to the streaming time moving into November? It's fun seeing you guys live here in the UK. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think um, we've had a broader discussion on that. We internally. haven't discussed it, but you in haven't. order to test, the only way to properly test this is for us to do another stream without a guest on the weekend to see if we pull the same. See how it does. Yeah, that, that's see pretty. How it does. Yeah, that. Like we no we one. haven't internally talked about it, but um, anything is on the table. I th I think if the if the better sign off, we're probably pretty good on it, right? Yeah, yeah. is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. something something like that. All right, <clears throat> <clears throat> that, that, that's where the buck stops. I yeah, think. yeah, 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 yeah. Brad says, "Wow, Bradley, I didn't know, I didn't know any cubit any cubic made yeah. hat stands. You didn't know." You, that's like the best hat rack. That's when you know you balling. Know you know right? yeah, when you get a 3D, 3D printer, printers, yeah. you don't use it and you just put your hats on it. Like that's mm, like, yeah. mm. that's how you floss. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. that's a that's that's my uh, hats. That's pretty painful. Thanks, thanks, but, thanks, thanks, Brad. Thanks for pointing thanks, that Brad. out. Appreciate that. <laughs> uh, Brad also says, looking at Brad uh, Bradley's background, I oh wait, hold on. Oh, it's the same. It's the same thing. Okay, yep. my bad. Not bad. I just wanted to repoint that out that Bradley hasn't used it. As a as a North American person, North American, NA? Not any person. I always I always <laughs> miss Saturday streams without without missing work. Interesting. I kind of like it on Saturday, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit yeah, I, I yeah, I, I, I know. I know you guys have. have lives. I, I think it'll be like <laughs> guests because we may like like I think for guests like James is probably like the exception to the rule. I think some of our oh. guests prefer uh, Fridays and because they want their weekends. Like they, they they roll into our stuff. Like let's the week the work week is not finished until I do the stall. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, late late but still great is the choo choo in the background. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Late but still great. Um, all right. So Hannibal says that's what happens when they when they hire people who don't know or care about the content. 
then you get things like ooh, 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 <laughs> she hulk introducing a soul boy uh, a soy boy scar and thor Hannibal also says, I would admit Miss Marvel was pretty good though. I I'm not I I, I haven't seen Miss Marvel. I the the discourse around it hasn't been amazing though. But I think that's the internet these days, maybe. It is gonna hate Blame the internet. Mm-hmm. Blame the internet. And Ben says, I see a doggo. Yep, he is definitely the best boy. All right. But yeah, so um, really excited about some of the things that we have coming up. Um, we have not discussed the, the changes in time, but again, we, we're always looking at everything that, that's been working. And guys, you know what helps is if you guys like and subscribe to the stream. <laughs> <laughs> that helps it'll us help. a lot. It'll, it'll help. It'll, it'll help. help right like the stream share it subscribe to the channel um you know because when we look at kind of you know the best time to to come out here um all of that stuff takes into uh, we take all that stuff into account right yeah um dk says uh anyone finished moonlight because i couldn't Michael, oh fantastic. hold on it was, nice. I, 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 it was fantastic dk why couldn't you finish moonlight I'm actually more like, curious. Because he doesn't like Fantastic. I <laughs> couldn't finish it because it was <laughs> trash. See? Yeah. Unless you worked on it. If you worked on it, I like the CG. <laughs> 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 Same thing with She-Hulk and... Uh, Same thing with She-Hulk and... Yeah. yeah. I actually... I, yeah, I... You know you know how I get down with Moon Knight. I wasn't a uh, fan. I don't, I don't like superheroes that black out and then wake up and everybody's on the ground. Yeah, yeah, kind of like, best part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When I watch my action stuff, I kind of like to see the action part. I'm weird that way, but that's just yeah, that, that is a little odd. You know, you might be in the minority, Mike. I am. Um, <laughs> tell, tell me about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But DK, why couldn't you finish Moonlight? Uh oh. Okay, I think I think DK shares the sentiment. <clears throat> they share the sentiment. Or I mean. Or go ahead, go ahead, Bradley. It was fantastic, and <laughs> Mike and yeah. So, Bradley, what did you like about it then? I liked the storytelling. I liked the. I did. I, did. I loved it. Did. Let me mansplain to you what you liked. <laughs> you like the fact that I didn't like it, and you want to you want to be the foil. That's it's all. Focus, that is. focus, all over again. It's yep. focus, focus. Yeah, you know, Bradley. Bradley, I'm up to his tricks. He just wants to be the heel of the of, of the segment of the show. I actually actually like, you know, Moonlight. It was fantastic, you know. I can't wait for the sequel. Hmm. Well, I got news for you. Ain't gonna be a sequel. That's disappointing. It's coming back. Well, uh, on that, um, DK is asking, did you like the talking hippo? Was like that 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 was your thing? All day. <laughs> I was like, like, why haven't Marvel did this before? Like, there yeah, should be yeah, more yeah. talking hippos. Yeah. Bradley's a fan of things that shouldn't be talking and making them talk. Oh, dude. <laughs> he's, referring to my, he's referring to my piece that I did on Hulu. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pam and Tommy yeah. Lee documentary. Yeah, yeah just... Uh, episode 2, 30 minutes I in. Admitted <laughs> uh, it to memory. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, meanwhile, I'm trying to purge it from mine. You try to purge it from yours. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, just look at Bradley's IMDb. It's up there. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Ben says, honestly, the show feels like they're it's slipping in quality. It makes me worry about Daredevil Born Again, um, especially since they covered that arc uh, in, in the same wait. It, they basically covered the arc in season three, is what he's saying. I didn't see season three of Daredevil, I don't think. I stopped at season two because that bled into Jessica Jones, right? Or the did that did that bleed into the Was that the last season they did? Three? I think so. Yeah. For Daredevil. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 <clears throat> I, I, well, I remember watching I enjoyed all of the Daredevils actually. 
Uh, MJ says, Stylus Lee currently holds more viewers than Pix Logic stream. Well done, gentlemen. I'm, is that 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 can't be true? <laughs> that can't Mike, be Mike is their reigning defending yeah. champ, so he's not on there right now. So I would, I, I think it could be. <laughs> oh, are they streaming right now? Is that yeah? They they stream around this time. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, ben says, "Oh, damn, go Stylus Lee." Yep. Uh, I actually want to. I want to say something when it comes to to to. That you think I should say it or hold on to it? The uh, about ZBrush Live. If, if everything is know, uh, wait, if I everything is official, I'm gonna say yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, it, wait, wait, what? It, if, if it's I, official, we might. It is no, it, it's official. Okay, it is official. Go ahead. Go ahead. Should I? Can I? Can I say it? Why not? Why, why not? It, go, something tells right. me you're still gonna, you're gonna let it slip down the line. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna, I'm well. gonna say it. I'm yeah. gonna say. All right, listen. Uh, guys, you're full screen. Too. Some guys, this is me. This is your friend Mike Thompson. You guys know me. Uh, if you have ever been to a ZBrush Live and watched any of my streams, there's going to be some changes coming up around here, and uh, and and for the better, actually. So what I I did was I reached out to Paul and and Pixelogic and said that uh, I want to. Uh, promote Stylus League and uh, and and do it in a way that is going to be um, good for Pixelogic and good for us as well. So I actually um, talked to them about having Bradley come on with me for my streams, Ooh. and it will no longer be the Mike Thompson show. It's going to be the Stylus League show. So Bradley, oh, yeah, Bradley will be reading the chat. Uh, similar to what Raul is doing while I while I work on the sculpts, and uh, and we will be kind of having this conversation that we're having now, very organic, um, and then that way I don't miss any questions. So it's like you're you're getting two for the price of one. Um, so that's going to be starting next month, actually, uh, around the time that uh, Bradley, what we say around the time of the summit, right? Like yeah, around that time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Uh, we're gonna have a, a big announcement about a giveaway on that as well. So, uh, let well, folks we, know we're giving it all out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, listen, I'm not gonna say pull his mic, not, pull his I'm, mic. Yeah. Uh, pull you, his where's mic. the mute button? Where's the mute pull button? Pick him off, pick him off, pick him off, pick him off. Don't, don't cut my mic, don't cut my mic. Okay, all right, that's all I can say. All right, pick him off. The whole thing, huh? All right, cool. I didn't say what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I night out with Mike Thompson. Can't That's what send it is. him nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Night out with Mike Come on. Thompson. Excited. Um, <laughs> he's a kid. You sent to the store. You're like, I didn't ask you to get Snickers. All right. Yeah. <laughs> no. The, you should have just got the milk. This, this yep. is not the first time I've been accused of oversharing. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so Sura Deep uh, recovering. Bradley, show us your newly installed Wacom. Too soon. All right, moving on. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so <laughs> Hannibal says, I'll go far enough to say I enjoyed Kitsch as Gambit. That's is that a hard hot take? When I get hey, when I get my new one in, I'll show you a picture. Ah, thanks, Bradley. <laughs> um let's see here ben says not really make one comment on the defenders content and move on <laughs> <laughs> i never saw it so i can't i can't i can't the, make a comment defenders though. was it happened it occurred it happened it's kind of like the non Snyder cut of the. <laughs> it it <laughs> had it had League it had now. my man Daredevil in it with yeah. a very nice uh, kind of a facial thing that he was wearing. Yeah, it's nice. Um, so uh, Sid <laughs> says, "What about Scar?" <laughs> he looked and weird. Ben said, "Scar hurt the screenshots of." Uh, I, I can only take it to the show. Why, why couldn't he have his regular haircut? Why, why do you have to have that weird kind of a pulled back bowl cut thing? I'm going to reach out to the director right now. Um, 
Also, if you worked on Scar, if you worked on Scar, uh, good good job with the execution. I'm sure that you got direction. Direction came from higher up. I'm sure. Yeah, you know, like James tells you, there's there's a ton of people that are involved with this. A lot right? of people involved. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. If you were the art director, I'm sure you're a lovely person. Lovely, lovely individual. James keeps sculpting. James mm -hmm. keeps sculpting. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, ben says, Wait, when Mike gets like this, I, I worry about the stream getting cut off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, we don't know much goodness. Yeah, that's, that's, pretty, can't take it. that's pretty legit. And then you're, we're getting a lot of sweets. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> MJ. MJ going, oh, Mac, oh, man, back to Bradley ignoring my comments. <laughs> hey, MJ, I thought we worked through our differences. Yeah, evidently not. Uh, we we're getting some some emojis. Uh, DK says that's kind of like what uh, Thomas does on his stream. Um, then we get the uh, uh, will you finally finish He-Man? It's, it's a good mm -hmm. We had a whole we had a whole section where we talked about this stuff. Mm -hmm. we, 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 yeah, we just we just we had a whole. You, 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 you can't be sculpt shame me. You can't sculpt okay. shame me on my own show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. No, no, I, I I will finish He Man. That's a promise for me to <laughs> shame. Uh, we will span you with questions. <laughs> they, they said that's yes. probably for Brand, uh, Bradley. Um. Hannibal says, "Call me from inside the house." That dating my uh, yourself, Mike. No, I used that. I used that earlier. What are you talking about, Hannibal? I actually used that a little earlier. Did you? Oh wait, you're talking about me saying it. Oh yeah, yeah you said it. Yeah. Oh oh yeah. Of course. Come on, man. We've established we've established that I have a a long and storied past with uh, television and film. Ben says the bottle episode for the de defenders was the only thing that he liked. And when did uh, I get a hallway fighting scene? I'm happy. I think we had one in there. Was there? I, again, I haven't. I haven't watched it, so I don't even know why I asked that question. I don't know. I had. I hadn't watched it. Um, ben says why? Why wasn't he jacked? We're all talking about the son of Hulk. And a alien Amazonian gladiator. Genetics should be off the charts. Yeah. Also, why did he look like a legit, like, angry teenager? He looked like the most <laughs> sullen. Like, every bad experience with my son being at that very weird age between, like, a, uh, 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 what do you call them? Tween, like the tween years, <laughs> yeah. where it's only attitude, like, only attitude. <laughs> That's I was funny. like, what are you upset about, dude? Uh, said nothing I, good. Just cause. Uh, just bro, I think we should shift to the review stuff, and that would uh, take us to the end. Okay. okay. Um, let me wrap up the chats that we have here so right, we can cool. focus on that. Um, so uh, stream uh, Streamworks CC is asking, how long are we streaming today? And I think you just got your answer. Uh, <laughs> so we're, we're going to move <laughs> into the feedback section here in a second, which is going to wrap up the stream. Um, Voxel's miniature says, uh, Droke. Um, and he also says, what's up, Scabs? Um, because I haven't seen Voxel on, in the chat, so welcome here. And uh, he also says, I'm down with the Hulk having to deal with his kids. That's mm -hmm. pretty funny. Um, Ben says, yes, Mike, all, all he needed was an, was emo makeup and my chemical <laughs> romance. <teacher. laughs> I, I just, I, I had the feeling that like the, the thing he had said right before he came out and on the camera is like, get out of my room, get out of my room, man, dad. Ooh. And, uh, Sir Deep Bradley, show us your newly installed walk. -on. I'm, I'm going to send pictures of my setup and I'll put it in the discord. If you guys yeah. want to see what it looks sure, like. Sure it right. does take up less desk space. So I will tell you, I, I have been oh, enjoying cool. having uh more desk space and like the coolest thing like i sometimes like using my tools uh tablet and sometimes trying to use my tools tablet with the 24 pro on my desk was a problem but with this new stand i'm able to just like able to lift this up out of the way and use my tablet freely so yeah 
Um, guys, there are a ton of submissions in right, the let's, get let's, feedback. Let's get cracking um, and yeah, let's get yeah. Get um, so let me go ahead and share my screen. Or Brad, uh, Bradley, do you think you could share your screen in case I have to dip out? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, let me save this. And um, yeah, we. Th th this is great, though. I love seeing all, all of these submissions. This is wonderful because we only had one at the beginning of the show. We definitely have more than one now. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so, really, some really great work being shared here. So, thank you guys for your involvement. Mm -hmm. Bradley's going to the moon and back. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And guys, if you haven't already done so, please drop a like on the stream. Share it with uh, with anybody uh, that you think would like the content. If you haven't already subscribed, please do that. Um, really helps out the channel. Really helps us uh, drive more and more content. And uh, ML... MJ, I did share the con content. Think uh, so. MJ says only thirty more subs. Yes, he is absolutely correct. We have the goal of a thousand subs for for the year. In the year, we're thirty away. Yes. Desktop, desktop. What's the best way to do this? This way, this way. All right. Did your uh, broadcast cut out? Uh, it it's always not. does when he when he shares screen. Oh, uh, okay. You're talking about, oh, you're talking about referring to the music. The, the music, yeah, the music. No, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking about. Uh, it sounds like uh, your audio for your for your mic sounds different. Is it still different? Oh, it's that good. sounds it's just Yeah, it sounds fun. All right, here we go. All right, so read. Uh, where did it open up at? <laughs> yeah, can can you read the the comment that was there? Oh, no, you can see I was reading, all right? Uh, all right, my, uh, my, my bad. Hey, hey, you do your job so you have to leave, all right? All right, all right. Well, well. first of all, thank you for the amazing feedback on the previous model. This is from Katri3D. Um, it was very helpful. I would like to have feedback on this model, please. Um, how can I make it more interesting? It's still a work in progress. Huh? So, um, Bradley, since, since you're sharing, why don't we start with you? One, I would like I would love to know how you find the time to whip all this out. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. But it's like I like I, I sometimes have problems giving feedback with works in progress because I don't know like like overall I think it's a cool direction. Let me look at the other it's interesting piece. I don't know much about it. Uh let's go here. Oh, this is a good angle. This is a better angle. I like that. I like that silhouette. That side. Yeah. That's actually kind I of think dope. I, I like this. Yeah, it's looking really cool. Like, I'm, I'm concerned about like the lean. Like it looks like he's gonna like fall over. Like I don't know how to all the best probably balance a little bit more to make sure the weight because it looks like all of this weight is up here. Right? What do you guys think? Yeah, I kind of I like the lean. I feel like he's. I think I think that they need if they need to decide uh, whether they they want it to lean or to be grounded. It's kind of halfway at the moment. Yeah. So if you're going to make it him float, or, or make him look floaty, um, you need to probably um, make it make it more obvious. You know, like make, otherwise it's it looks like he's kind of tiptoeing or light footed, which I guess is is fine, but. It's kind of a little bit wishy-washy, so uh, for because the sculpt's really good, so and the silhouette's nice and everything. So, I would it would be nice to have like some sort of um, concise storytelling on the base like that, you know. So, I wonder or, if that's supposed to be smoke or like uh, some type of a yeah, like that he's walking yeah, around. Rock. If so, I think it's perfect. It, is it a rock? Yeah, though? yeah, I think it's rock. Oh, okay. Yeah, because well, if that was, was, was layered like, in, or, or it was. Yeah, like if he was walking on like a, a, a smoke or something, like kind of floating in, mm -hmm. I, I think that's fresh as heck, mm -hmm. you know? But I don't know anything about this. Is this a is this something that Katri made up 
um, from nothing, or is this a character that exists? This looks like maybe an Overwatch character. Maybe I'm mi mis mistaken. It's got that feel, that simplicity. Yeah, feel, it, it definitely it? has yeah. like an Overwatch feel to it. For, yeah, for sure. I can't wait to see it fully textured though, because I like um, the layering of the cloth and everything. Yeah. This cool piece though. Nice... Yeah, yeah, yeah very cool. cool. Piece, so, yeah. yeah, I would say keep pushing it. Tell us a story with it. Tell it, you know, tell a story. So, um, you know, why is if they're floating, why are they flo why are they floating? Sort of, just little hints that they can add into the statue that that give us an an, uh, an idea of where it's going. Mm -hmm. It's cool, very cool statue. All right, so this is a work in progress. Uh, Wendy Torrance from The Shining. Oh wow. I don't remember her being so au natural in The Shining. <laughs> it's called a whip. <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm just kidding. I, I I love the the kind of the gestural pose. Like I, I really kind of like it's an exaggeration, and I like it. You know what I'm saying? Like mm. I, I I'd like to see. Uh, I wish there was a sketch that went along with this so I could see where it was going to go. But I don't know. What do you guys think? I like yeah, I like the gestures. Fantastic! It's really yeah. good. There's some really nice shapes there. Yeah. Um. So it's difficult to know what what stage of the sculpt it is. I mean, if it's a finished sketch or if there's a, you know, like a a, a purpose for it, you know, further down the line. But it's it's yeah. I I would say I've just done literally um, my sculpt is all like a similar sort of pose with the you know female bending over like that it's very with the arch back it's really difficult pose to pull off right anatomically you know um you're as there, there's there's this there's not a lot of massive reference out there for it either so it's, yeah, it can be really like yeah. this like 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 rounding this a little bit more mm. it seems like yes kind of flat yeah. yeah would be my only you talking about the arch of the back, like giving that more yeah, arch, arch of the back, mm. but also in like the the buttocks area was like really straight. I would I straight. would almost bring that from the waist up, um, pull it back counterclockwise, and then bend more from the shoulders forward. That's going to give you more of that C shape, mm. and then bring it down into the leg, which kind of makes that S that we're looking for. You know. So, so the the um the, her oh, looking at the sculpt sculpt her. Uh, uh, um, left clav um, sorry, a left scapula is, is, needs to be pointed down a little bit further as well. Because if you look mm -hmm. at, if you get someone in that pose, then the the edge. If so, if you look up from the top level, and uh, the very last one, if you draw the line of a scapula, um, like it will. If you look at someone who's had their arms thrust forward like that, the scapula comes much more forward than that, uh, and looking at it like uh michael i guess you'll be able to say tell, tell this as well mike when you draw the scapula it kind of fits around the the rib cage it kind of rotates around and yeah. follows the rib cage around yeah. yeah uh james and mike i would suggest you guys go full screen so people could see your faces as you're uh, oh yeah in. sorry sorry about that yeah uh how do you feel there about the is. feet the work in progress they're whip. <laughs> Yeah, it's sketch they're sketchy, so it's difficult. I don't want to be too critical because like um they do they've performed the purpose they're there for, yeah. if that makes sense. But I, I actually so I really I really am happy with the anatomy. Um I think mm. that yeah, there are some things that need to be changed. Um, uh, but they're minor, like the arms, yeah. um uh like I would just I would kind of tear off that. I think this has to be twisted kind of a little isolate. bit more. Say again? I think this area needs to be like the way this looks here probably needs to be twisted in a little bit along with because this looks like a kind of strange bend happening. I like it. I actually like that a lot. I like because there's 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 those S shapes that we talk about everywhere, right? So yeah. For me, if we're going to um if we're going to what James was saying about her left arm, I would just kind of isolate it um at the you know the, the 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 top of the shoulder around that deltoid and and some of the um the scapula and and just kind of um bring it down and forward if we're looking at it from the front mm -hmm. um 
like down and over to the right a little bit for us. And then that's going to give you that, that, you know, kind of natural shape that you can build into that James was talking about. You can make the, you can make the clavicle kind of feel like it's, it's arcing around the rib cage a little more. Mm. Um, simplify basically you just need to simplify that area a little bit yeah more. yeah it's, very, no, it's, that... it's, it's such a difficult sculpt though so like um like it's really i'm very impressive you know the the, the fluidity of it of this yeah area. same yeah same. bradley yeah. um you're not full cammed on on your side it's hard to do it while i'm doing the screen share uh, okay i didn't i didn't know if that was uh yeah, yeah. An, an issue yeah. all right great um, and thank you for the submission, Manuel. Yep. Thank you. Um, this one's from Anatasi Petrov, who has been on the stream most of the day. Not sure if you're still on, but um, thank you for your submission. Yeah, dude, where, where, when are we going to get some stuff that we can tear apart? Or yeah. What are you <laughs> Um, Wait, I'm, when I'm, I start I'm, putting some stuff out there, I'm, I'm, I'm here. To, I'm here to break some hearts. Yeah, no, I like this piece. Too. <laughs> yeah, this piece is dope. Yeah, I like this piece too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Yeah, nice, nice I mean the sh the shoulders are a bit symmetrical. Perhaps they're a bit too level for me, but um, uh, like so, drop the drop one of the shoulders a little bit to sell us the pose. Um, but that's just been very. That's I, nearly nitpicking, really, because it's yeah. Quite, his, his yeah. go back to that front arm, that front. Oh, version okay, again. there you go. Yeah, that's a bit. Better. Really? Yeah, gotcha. Hold on, hey, it's, yeah. it's just give me a second. Uh, it's a little navigation. Let, let's see the front one more time. The front. I was going to say his forearm without the gauntlet. His left arm um, feels like it could um, have a little more volume on the outside of it uh, to the right. Let's see. Let's and see. That's, yeah, it, and uh, again, it's it's nitpicky for all of this stuff. I like the. Uh, I actually really like the the clothing on on this one too. Like those wraps. Can we zoom in on the wraps a little bit? Nope. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Nope. Well, no. Cool detail in there. Yeah. yeah Control good. scroll. That's a good one. <laughs> His beard is kind of fresh too from the side. That's that's awesome. It's a good piece. How long did this take? We should start asking people how long they've spent on these pieces. That, I think that's an interesting thing. Uh, and uh, 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 Anatasi has been on stream the entire time. I don't know if he's still on or, uh, but if you are, please drop in the chat. How long this piece has taken you? Uh, yeah. Manuel also says thank you for the feedback, guys. Nice. That was uh, the piece prior. Yep. All right. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> <laughs> that is fun. It's, yeah. I, I like that. Uh, so this is another one from uh, uh, Anat. Uh, Ana I am messing this up. Anastasia. Ana right? Anastasia. Anastasi? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Anastasi oh, this is dope. Petrov. Yeah, <laughs> I like that hair, man. <laughs> it's, it's yeah, it's very cool. Yeah, really yeah. nice. Jeez. Yeah, well done. AI can't make this, all right? <laughs> this, this piece looks like something that could fit into like a studio Ghibli, Ghibli type of thing. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, it's, it's fresh. Yeah, I like that. Um, yeah, it says that it, it took him about a, a week to to get that out. So. Yeah, nicely done. Yeah, I like it. Not much to critique there, to be honest. I yeah, like the is... pose and everything. It's cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that's something that I, I legitimately would like to have on my desk. Oh, yeah. I, 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 oh, this this I, is awesome. Yeah, I yeah. like that. Nice shapes in that and the, the hair oh, sculpt's cool. cool. Okay. All right, cool. We'll we'll spend less time on that since he already had a prior. What is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'd be interested to know, Anastasia. What, what do you do for uh, like? What's your day job? Do you work for somebody? Because it's kind of kind of professional piece. All right. So this is from uh, Khan Khan Kiri, and it says, "Hi everyone. I have a special question about posing. How can I make this pose more interesting? Cylinder is in the handcuff chain." Okay, so it's going to be he's handcuffed and, and tethered to the back. Is that what's going on? That's like what that. it looks like. Yep. 
Okay, oh, I so see. Right. It's it's very um, th there's not a whole lot of um, uh, dynamic kind of angles from the front. It's, it's very straight. Very straight. Yeah. 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 There's no so, there's no line of action. No curve curve line of action. Yeah, I, I would probably do what we just kind of suggested for the um, for that other piece, and maybe starting at his head, get more of that S shape where his back is curved. Then when you get down to his um, his knee, that's kind of bent. So you you know you you'll probably have to move him back a little bit, but it'll feel like he's actually pulling on that chain. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But yeah, having having a curve to his back, and then from the front, it's also very straight. I would I would give that some uh, some curves as well. James, what what do you think? Yeah, I think there's the, it lacks a bit of weight at the moment, and by bending the knee like like you suggested, that's going to add a bit of weight, mm -hmm. and also add uh, a curve going up. You know, think of a curve from the profile view of the sculpt. Um, think less about straight lines and more of a curve. So yeah. what you've got is the chains that are, will be straight because the tension's there, but the right. body will be cut, will be kind of curved. So it will, you've got the straight sort of chain, and then you've got the cur the cur the curved body going upwards, and that creates this kind of D-looking shape. And you're going to get that tension then. If you are, at the moment you just got two straight lines that are parallel, which aren't interesting at all. Yeah. So you want those two lines to interact. Uh, hey Bradley. You're, yep. you're drawing you're drawing lines on it i would i would even from that front view you let me take a mm -hmm. screen that and i'll show you what i have in mind and then, and mm -hmm. then while i'm doing that bradley you you give your uh you give your feedback no i've, I've been like i agree with you guys because like it was on the it's just too straight it's super super straight yeah so here i'll open up my photoshop here uh by by the way uh anna see anatasi um said i i'm so glad to finally get the time to talk with you guys and also mentioned that he works for ad in the advertisement oh, studio uh, yeah, we can tell an yeah. animator all right so yeah, can we I can tell that. yeah yeah we apologize that raul just is incapable of saying you're completely also. incapable <laughs> anastasi there you go anastasi. there it is yeah all right share is uh share my screen for a second doc yeah. doc uh, let's see. So the layout. Oh, I guess I, it would help if I was showing it, right? Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah. So what I was thinking, and you guys tell me if you agree or disagree. Uh, let's see. By the way, there's like seven more pieces. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll I'll be quick about it. But yeah. So I would probably have the shoulders a bit more like this and then bring this like more of a curve here right and then have this leg up and down all right so he's kind of pulling this way and his head can be like that um and then from the side what i was talking about is like a an extreme kind of a mm. you have it right like you kind of have it you know maybe maybe even back more with that leg and then his head is up, right? So he's like really putting all yeah. of his, his yeah. weight into pulling those chains. Um, yeah, because if we're looking at this from from every angle, it's just kind of up and down. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to need to add some interest. A bit of contraposto in there. Exactly. Well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's the one thing, like if you look at James's piece right now, it's so... It's so kind of captivating because he's got S's every freaking where, like every angle of his thing has got, um, it, there's no real straights in it, you know? So um, anyway, that's it. Cool. All right. What's the next one? Wow. Who do we have? Oh, is Raul not there? Oh. Uh, I think he dropped out, didn't he? he must have dropped yeah. out. Okay. Hold on. I, I, uh, you need to help me out, Mike. Uh -huh. Where is the name? Bradley. 
Bradley, are you still there? No, I thought you were. Go- I thought you were checking. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh! I didn't know. No, I didn't know. That's what you meant when you said help you out. Hold on. Let me open yes. up Discord. I don't even have it open. Hold on. Because I have like everything's jumping around on my monitors. All right. Let me find it. Sorry, guys. No worries. James, you want to start giving some feedback while I'm getting the information on the artist? Yeah. Well, I, I, I was, I'll make a start. I'm so looking i mean it's like i say it's very difficult to know what stage of the <laughs> excuse me the sculpt this is i'm assuming mm-hmm. it's like we're at the um we're in the middle perhaps or just at the blocking stage but i can see a few anatomical issues that of the, the first thing is that anatomy is a bit kind of uh, rudimentary of course but um uh it it, it needs I, I can see lots of areas that aren't merged so that tells me it's more of a sketch Mm-hmm. Um, but even from the from the guy in the front, I can see that the muscle layout's a bit um, uh, a little bit rudimentary in that it's there's an extra muscle set that he's got on on top of his uh, uh, on top of his abdomen that doesn't actually exist. So that needs there's a few little yeah little areas there that needs to be better defined perhaps okay. and and uh maybe find some reference of chests a bit more there that will that will help um uh but uh, yeah this, uh, is, for, this is this is orlando uh by the way uh i can't pronounce the last name uh casito right. yeah okay yeah. yeah um yeah so bradley yeah i my i would say like try to make some bony areas because everything looks like um there's like there's you're making the muscle but you can't really tell where the bone spots are where the bony areas are like there's mm. a, like should be a bone here or like you know like it's not protruding into this like the spots in the yeah the that's shapes like, are there which is good yeah yeah a lot of yeah. shapes are there but the bony uh pieces are missing i would say on those pegs too on the, on the oh sorry go ahead like rip, you need a rib cage. You can't tell here. On the on the okay. Minotaur, um, what where Bradley was just drawing to, I would uh, for those pecs um, have more of a fan um, for the striations coming from that armpit. Yeah. Right now, it looks like they kind of just go straight across, and it almost looks mm-hmm. like there's just bars going across the chest. That's you true. have it going yeah. on in the, uh, the 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 human character. Well. Yeah. Um, no, coming, coming. Yeah, from yeah, that. yeah. Coming from, coming from yeah. the spots. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, and that's going to give you that hollow in the shoulders as well between the uh, the clavicle and your pectoral muscle. Um, so there is Raúl. Uh, but you, you you have some of that going on in the in the 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 human type dude. Um, so. But the 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 pecs separate. You can separate the pecs into three parts. So right. that there's a top part that that connects to the sternum, and and to the clavicle as well. And that's that actually um, that's the main um, part of the muscle that disappears under the deltoid. Mm-hmm. And so you can see it in your in the human sculpt there, and it kind of comes down almost diagonally. And as you raise your arms up. Um, the the th- uh, the other two parts underneath kind of twist, so it's got like a twist at the end where it disappears under the deltoid, and the top part of the the, the muscles sort of is the dominant part, um, and that is as Mike says, that's what that's what creates that hollow between the deltoid and the and your clavicle, um, so and and it's not clear that that's there on the beast, um, yeah. So you just there's a really good piece of reference. Um, if Bradley, you show the next image, um, Omar o, Omarin Khan 91 put a nice photo, uh, that kind of shows off exactly what James was just describing. This piece right yeah. here, yeah. um, it's tiny on the screen, but yeah, yeah, that kind of shows off that stuff. All right, cool, awesome. Bradley, anything, anything else from you? Nope. All right, guys, if you're just now joining the stream, what we're doing is we're looking at uh, the community uh, posted content that they're asking for Mike, James and Bradley to provide them feedback on. 
Um, we're not taking any additional submissions for today, but um, I promise you that if you put something down there in the Discord, we will get to it at another future stream. Uh, with that being said, also, don't forget, if you're liking the content, like the, the stream, uh, subscribe to the channel, share it out to anybody, um, and join the Discord. I'm going to drop a Discord link here in a second. So. This is scaring me, Raul. We got to get to it. I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this is this like a? So this has been the nerdy butcher. Um, uh, is 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 this a Freddy Krueger demon mashup? Is that what's going it looks on? Looks like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It yeah. Like the stripey stripey uh, shirt as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's cool. I, I, I'm just looking at now. I think um, the. I th it's, it's a really cool concept. Um, yeah, I think what's missing cool. is the at the moment the forms are a little bit too blobby. Um, there's no there needs to be more concise shape um, to the to the forms. I mean, if you look at the trousers, you know the, the pants, for example. Sorry, I'm only just getting used to saying pants instead of trousers all the time. <laughs> you have to forgive me. Um, uh, if you look at the pants, uh, he, they're very they're, they're very designed. You know, they've got like a shape clear silhouette to them whereas on the sculpt they're kind of a bit rounded uh, that there's not a lot of form to them and actually it's the same with the body there's there's a lot of primary forms there and there's a lot of there's a lot of detail but there's no secondary form there you need to have a look more at um at what's going on on this on the on the surface on the secondary details um yeah. because uh for, for a good example of that is the eye sockets the eye sockets look very shallow um look a bit too shallow there's not a lot of extra form there that you would have uh, if you look at the concept you can see the orbits of the eyes are quite deep um mm -hmm. but on the sculpt there it looks very shallow um, but you've also got a lot of detail there that's unnecessary as well um that that's kind of muddying the sculpt a little bit so um a little bit more focus on the secondary forms will, will really help on this piece i think I, I would like to, uh, I think with, you could still kind of keep your your symmetrical pose, but you can get it closer to the concept art, right? So like if it were me, I would definitely widen the gate on his stance, right? Like really, because it's further than shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. which makes it feel much more dynamic in the yeah. piece of concept art. So definitely widen the feet. Um, and then that's going to allow you to work on your volumes, which I think needs some addressing. You know, what, what, what James is talking about and, and kind of what I'm saying are, are, are very similar. Um, the, the, I think the lower part of his torso uh, could maybe be another, you know, 10, 10 to 12 percent larger. Um, and then you go in and kind of uh, once you widen his uh, his feet and kind of turn them outward, that gives you more of an action figure stance. Um, then you can go and concentrate on fixing the um, the folds in the pants so that it feels a little more like the concept art. Um, his his core uh, feels like it could be wider to me as well because what's happening is he looks very thin, whereas the guy on the the piece of art um, has it, it looks like his upper body isn't as long and thin. It feels more muscular to me, right? And I think that's just widening out widening out his his uh his rib cage and his uh his abdomen um and then um you could even kind of give that head a bit of a tilt down as well and then that's going to help you um kind of get it looking more like that concept art so like if you look at my um my death piece even though he's in a symmetrical pose i try to get him to feel more um uh more dynamic and and i like to do that as long as I can until I get to break in symmetry. Um, that's going to help you with uh, matching up that concept art a little bit better. Hmm. Bradley? Uh, one of my feedbacks is I think, so the mass of the arm doesn't come from the front. Like it, you're ac actually your, uh, the bicep, the, the pieces back here, because it looks like when you're making it round here, you really can't see like, so I would, like really look, like take it like I would personally like I would probably take the head off and then try to like re before you do all the uh the details try to really get some of the anatomy pieces into it 
And, and when you study the arm, you'll realize that like this part, like it, the bulkiness is coming from the back. When and you say take the head off, you mean hide it, right? Yeah, like like yeah, hide it. Like I if I like if I had to like, right off. like if I would do this, if I would do this piece, I, I really like I like the head. There's some stuff I think that he could like really push to fix, like James was saying. But the body, I think he probably could take another stab, like from an anatomy study on it. Like, mm. like just forget some of this, uh, this stuff. Mm. You, like, like really go in, and you can really like make this piece sing. Because like one of the things I had to learn, like you have all this, like it's round on both sides, like it's very symmetrical. There's no like it's the the mm. peaks are even. Uh, so you know that would be some of my thoughts. I mean, if, the, if you look at the con on the concept, the arm. If you look at that arm that you've just focused on, that like the outside line. If you draw an outside line over the, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that that outside line is straight, completely straight from that part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you look in the inside, it kind of comes in and then goes comes in. Yeah. So again, it's got this kind yeah. of D shape yeah. to it. Um, and and I think people get kind of confused when they do when they do the forearms spe specifically. They kind of make them a bit too sort of rounded. Whereas there's kind of a nice, a kind of another like like Mike was saying. There's S shapes in the body, and it's just figuring out where to where uh, straights and S's. You know that the body's made out of these things, and it's knowing where to put them really. Mm -hmm. So if you just yeah. sort of um, you can observe, you know, actually, if you were to draw that line, Bradley, down to the thumb, you will see that's like a little open S. Mm -hmm. So where, where you started. So like the, like I say, S's and, and D's. Yeah. So the other way, if you, that's it. So that's like an open S yeah. sort of yep. thing. So, um, but, uh, I think the other thing is just note how the, there's how the silhouette tapers as well. So if you look at the, um, the legs, um, you can see they taper down so they're thicker at the top and they taper down and what you've got at the moment is that they're thick they're kind of a consistent thickness all the way down or it looks mm -hmm. like that so try and narrow the legs more uh at the ends as well to create that kind of tapered effect yeah as brad's Brad, Brad showing they're very heroic those legs i think that that making yeah. them larger and thinner is going to help you like longer and thinner uh yeah. and then you can get those you can get those like those those s shapes that you know bradley just kind of drew with the straights and the rounds yeah um i would too on this just block in uh it doesn't have to be any kind of serious sculpt at the moment but i would block in that sweater wrapped around the uh, around the waist because that to me is the mm -hmm. hero of this whole thing yeah uh, and and having it there once you widen those legs is really going to help you like nail down the uh the the, the concept art so with, with that being said, Mike, the comment that Ben has in the uh, get feedback, he says he's uh -huh. also learning Marvelous Designer. It's yeah. fun, but frustrating to try to work with. Yeah, um, I agree. And, I wouldn't he, use Marvelous Designer personally. I, it, I would I would totally make that thing out of um, just uh, using Z, Z Modeler and making a cylinder and flattening it out. I just did this for my little frame. Um, I, I gave him a, uh, cause I want to wrap a, a shirt around his waist, like grunge style, but, mm -hmm. um, but I made, a, a like a long sleeve shirt for him the exact same way. I might've recorded it. I think I recorded it. If I did, then we'll have it as a short. Um, so stay tuned for that. And then you can kind of apply it to your guy as well. If you want to. Yeah. And, and he does say that tying the knot in the front. Uh, yeah. has been a, a bit of a, a challenge. A <laughs> yeah, what a marvelous, yeah, yeah, it will be, yeah. yeah. And also, I would say, rough. like, a, a cool thing, like, don't, it's it's 3D, right? Like, this this is a shape. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a shape. Yep. Right? And, th and then, like, this could be another thing of Geo. Go like, I think you could, mm. you don't actually have to tie it. It has, appear, yeah. it has to appear. It has to be a working part. Yeah, of, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, like yeah. this is a shape. This is a shape. This is a shape. Like you can mm. take some spheres and stuff. You can like tie this yeah. like easy. Yeah, that's cylinders and 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 just kind of yeah. playing around with them all day. And that's yep. all that is. Like like th this this could just be like a tourist going around his body. Like that's uh, that unless thing. you're trying to because like Bradley was trying to he was trying to use marvelous because he needs to use it for work. Unless you're trying to learn marvelous. Don't beat yourself up on it, man. Oh, like, you, if you just yeah, want to make yeah, a piece, yeah. just sculpt yeah. it in. Yeah, he, he's trying to learn Marvelous for a job. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah, well, there you go. Like, All right. So I will tell you for someone, who, like, Marvelous, yeah. like, it only gets you, like, 
so far like like not i work with a lot of people some of them use marvelous but they always use it as like a jump off part to go back into zbrush and finish stuff off like we're you're you're not creating like full piece like fashion show pieces to like like you want to get just enough for the sim and then go back into zbrush and like really finish that off like i would not personally beat myself up trying to create this piece and like in, in marvel that that's like that would be like that's a lot of work it's a lot um so andrew cars has a great system mm -hmm. breakdown for forearms uh what i can say is that i think that uh, uh think of the workflow used for hair break it into three clumps pay special attention to the origins and the insertions to the bony bony landmarks uh then Thanks. break the three clumps down Thanks, kind of yeah. Yep. yep, and and Ben says he appreciates the feedback. So, no, Ben, we we appreciate no, what, your ben. your no, involvement what, with everything yeah. that we've been doing today. So, totally. Um, so this is uh, so, you know what? Can we? And I, I appreciate all the submissions, uh, Anastasi, but I would like to give somebody else an opportunity. Um, so maybe we hold on to this okay. one, Bradley. Don't we'll delete this, this one. one. Yeah, because this would be the third one for this stream. So let's hold on to that one for a, a, a subsequent stream. Sorry, um, if you don't mind, we'll, we'll get you next one too, if that's okay. Wait, did Sordeep submit I, earlier? I didn't see one from Sordeep earlier. Uh, the so like he did the soldier. Uh, he's continuing on the soldier piece. Or is this one um, new? That that's new. No, oh, this was new. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Did we do that last week? I can't remember. I I, I thought we did it last week, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Was it the soldier last week? I can't remember. Then we yeah, had the firefighter last week. Yeah. It was, was a fire firefighter last, last week. week. Was it? All right. Okay. okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, sorry. 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 We're, we're here. We're here. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Marvel. Okay. Who 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 wants to start? This is Sordi. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't really have much of a, a critique <laughs> because it's Tipo's character. So the modeling looks great. I mean, like, what yeah. else can you say? Yeah. Like, uh, it looks good. I mean, um, yeah, it looks very clean. And uh, yeah, um, I, I mean, it really, really did. I mean, I think for the for something like this, I would need context. Like, what is it actually for? What do you, what do you make it for? Is it for a game? Is it for visual effects or um, to, to be able to maybe critique it a little bit better but the textures look fine and yeah looks like it looks like it's progressing really nicely yeah mm -hmm. what's um what's i don't know what this is the yeah that's what i was gonna yeah, ask what's I going on in the that. yeah yeah <laughs> it's got that kind of the thing sort of texture yeah it looks like he's yeah. gonna gonna be like rocky or um <laughs> yeah but it uh, looks he good says, sorry he said he does say thanks for the feedback on the last piece. So I guess he did have a oh, have a yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, he said it was super it. helpful. Um, though the textures of the piece is a work in progress, I will give it some okay. pose after I'm done texturing. Right. Um, so one thing I will say the the boots look a bit too bulky. I know they are like military boots, but um, they seem to not. Oh, it's for a game. Um, they seem to be don't have enough shape at the tips for me so like at the ends i think i would i would make the ends a little bit fatter a little bit wider um but yeah apart from that i mean uh, everything looks great yeah i think so i think the geo is doing something a little weird here if you're looking at this for games oh, yeah, you might yeah, want to yeah. might want to look yeah, at yeah. this i don't know if it's a normal that's uh flip kind of weird but outside of that it looks dope man yeah, nice texturing. Cool. Close this one out. Jeez. <laughs> like I'm, lo I'm looking at all the submissions. We still got quite a few. Do we? Yeah, like so it. we have probably about four more and four or five more submissions. Well, okay. take a take a timestamp. So we can <laughs> those are the last four. Those are the last four. So why don't we say anything that was submitted before um, before one o'clock? We'll just do those last four, right? And that's it. Yeah. So anything submitted before one o'clock, I think we're going to be able to. And we're and we're going to be doing this every week. So it's yeah. It, I yeah. Mean, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, one thing for you guys to keep in mind too is that when uh, when Bradley and I are able to go into the uh, the Discord. You have access to us there as well, and if you wanna, you know, kind of pick our brains about, you know, just uh, direction, you you would be happy to answer your questions there too. Yeah, absolutely. Have- drop drop it in there. Like we don't um, don't wait till the the day of the stream to to submit something out. Like we're in the Discord pretty frequently. Yeah, you you won't you won't have James. So you know, obviously, you want to. I don't get- know. Wait, hold on, James. You're not you're not in the Discord. No, I'm not. I'm not. I don't have Discord James, on. I can't. I'm going to find it so distracting. Sorry, James. You're not. You're not in the. James is. He's a busy dude. Uh, I, I know you like to think he doesn't do anything uh, as a director, as art, as a as a creative director, yeah. art director. But they, I'd they, be on they it actually... all the time. I'd be on yeah. it all the time. <laughs> Just staring at it like this, huh? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right, so did we want to start with this, uh, Bradley? Why don't Why don't we yeah. start with with you? I do. I really love the design. It's super cool. It's cool. Uh, yeah. I think the anatomy is awesome. Uh, I think uh, mm-hmm. it could be how you you have a lot of clipping that's going through it, but I think because you're still trying to figure things out. But yeah, it looks awesome. Is, is, is this Is this me or like is this just like my not, lack of knowledge? What's that red like sphere at the top of his head? Like is that supposed to be there? Like it's, that? it's like the character. I think it has like a yes, orb, like a like this part of the design. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like the the, the design of the character sorry. too. Wait, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, I like the design of the character as well. I, I'd I'd love to know if this is a if this is based on something or if this is your own personal design. I I love the weapon, um, and the the detailing that is going on. What, what are you doing to me? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I love, I love the detail on the uh, on the scythe thing, and even the fact that it's not um, it's not entirely straight, right? Like there's a there's a, a subtle kind of a, a bend to that that makes it feel a little more natural and made out of a natural material, uh, like wood or something. Um, and dude has got some he's got some nice legs going on there too. So yeah. good good on you. He, he's showing them things off. And this and, is also and, a good example that what we we're trying to show before where you have this straight and then you have this curve going on the curve, curve. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah there's yeah. some nice there's some nice shapes there. I like the design, you know, I like the, the head design's pretty cool. I like the design on the blade as well, the skull's mouth open. That's pretty cool. I think uh, I think those calves nice. maybe could have a bit more of a round to them. Yeah. Both sides, yeah. both sides. Both sides. They look a bit square at the moment. They look a bit rectangular, a bit. A um, bit. and uh, they should be a little bit more um, shape uh, from the back. <laughs> Actually, the front doesn't look too bad. It's the yeah, back that looks right. very rectangular. Um, so that there should be a little bit more kind of uh, uh, curve there. Great design, though. And yeah, it's yeah. Cool. very cool. Execution well, so far, very well. It, well they uh it's oh, just cool. how it so says well. Th- well thanks done. a ton uh i love making my own designs after doing stuff for work all day nice. um and it, he's also saying that uh, i want to make that red part sort of like a fire thing yeah awesome yeah, 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 yeah awesome i could see man. that, that, that okay. I, i'd be really excited to see this uh when it's done um, with, with all the details on there, so it's just house. Yeah. Um, welcome to the to the, to the league, by the way. I think I think you just came came he, on. With he us. was in with us last night, actually. Oh, okay, great. great yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so maybe we might get to see a little more progress. Uh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, heck yeah. And uh, by the way, there, there's some conversation in the chat. Um, uh, Anastas- uh, Anastasi. There we go. Um, no, we really appreciate all of your submissions and everything like that. You're doing great work. So yeah. thank, yep. thank you for being a part of the community. Yep. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> Got soups with my favorite shield ever. Black to black <laughs> and to red. Is that the classic one? I can't yeah, remember the first one. Yeah. It the, 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 the yeah, classic yeah, the, yeah. No, I like that. Yep. So this one is a submission from the Bradman. This is awesome. This is a cool piece. Super yeah, stylized. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I, I love it. 
Yeah. I like the arms. The arms like form that kind of rectangle <laughs> sort of design. It's great. Um, yeah, but really cool for uh, like this is like a good, really cool sort of design, a toy esque sort of Superman, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. I like it. Yeah, yeah. yeah not not hard to critique that one actually yeah. because of what it's um, you know the the it's it's simplified for that for the right reasons. So it's cool. Yep. Okay. It's so cute. It is cute. <laughs> I like it. I likes it. Reference. Oh, oh there you go. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. See you. Let's see his again. The uh, the sculpt. The sculpt. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you want to see the other one. The other one. The other one. Can you do the sculpt and the the line art next to each other? I sure can. Thank you, sir. So I think the the only criti if you wanted to improve this, you put um you, you because at the moment the weight is distributed evenly on the sculpt. Um, if you look at the the drawing, the weight is on. I would say the weight is on his left leg. The left right? leg, yeah. Yeah. So that if you wanted to add interest, um, that's what I would push. Yeah. So put mate straighten the left let his left leg and then push his right leg out and you can also add a bit of contrapposto i know it's not in there in the design in the in the actual design so you could mm -hmm. leave it out if you needed to but um yeah just to add a little bit more interest a little bit. at the moment he's his stance is quite flat as well so if you look at his look at the concept his chest is puffed out right. um, i know it's puffed out on the on the sculpt a little bit but it's not we're not seeing it enough you know look you could push it a little bit further can we see it from the side bradley yeah that'd be good to see it from yep. nope wrong thing wrong thing <laughs> so here yeah so it is actually there it's funny isn't it like it that, is there yeah i think what you need to do is move his head back move his head back uh, a little bit, but I don't know because his head is over his his feet. You know so. the thing that's difficult is I was going to have him bend the, the 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 head forward, but that chin is so prominent mm. yeah. that you're going to kind of lose it. I I feel like maybe the head could be a little bit smaller, and then the chin can come forward. I think the shoulders need to go back. I think that's what yeah. what it is. I think the yeah, shoulders yeah. need to come be pulled right back yeah uh, they're a bit too forward at the moment so mm -hmm. i would expect them to see i'd expect if you were to draw a line between the middle of the shoulder they would be a little bit around the heel area for the you know um if you were to draw a line down um, and it just to expand like, that bring chest those shoulders down, back you know? the chest puffs out anyway so you're gonna yeah that it expands that chest so the, ch yeah. the front of the chest will stay where it is but the shoulders are going to come back yeah um yeah now, he has uh, a top view. if you look at it from the top and instead of it looking like this, you kind of just bend it back some, mm. it's going to give you the chest naturally feels like it's more inflated. Yeah. Yep. What are you doing, Bradley? Uh, Online. <laughs> 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 um, now, uh, James, I do want to I do want to respect your time. You did say that you had till 630 today. Well, I'll, um, I'll finish with you guys. No worries. I'll finish. Okay. I'll, I'm only going to get a pizza, so it's no problem. Nice. Okay. Sounds delicious. Where's your Where's your pizza place of choice? I always get a Domino's. Actually, I always get a Domino's. Really? Pizza. Yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is to art station. This is Sid. Uh, Sid Cordon. Uh, Here, take this phone. Uh, I saw this one. This, uh, this, oh, is, this is a little trolling. Um, I think I need an adult on this one. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on here. Yeah. I need an adult. It's cool skull. Oh, that's that actually cool a really cool skull. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's yeah, a cool yeah, skull. Yeah, like, yeah, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, like, very, hey, it's a cool ass skull. It's it's very, I couldn't think of it. You got that little, hey, you got the anatomy going into it, right? It's definitely a goat man. Like, it, you. You put it together. Yeah, there's, there's some nice shapes there, actually. Um, yeah. It's 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 a cool sculpt. It's I very... couldn't really tell. So the big big critique for me is presentation because I really couldn't tell the shapes at the start. So something if you're gonna 
the, from the, the the first render, make sure you light, you know, you, you, you get some better lighting on there um, to, so that we can show. Oh, this one, yeah. Yeah, it, wow, that's think, a bit confusing. Who, who did this piece? I think they did the whole thing out of, out of symmetry. This is Sid. Um, so yeah, it's Sid, very cool. Sid yeah. was on stream earlier. Not sure if yeah. Sid's still on, but yeah. Nice, nicely done. Also, just like... Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. So Sauce Lord Kozo uh, says uh, a bit of uh, Guillermo del Toro vibes. Yeah, it's nice. I like the fur as well. He's got some nice sort of lines and shapes in there. There's a little. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel I feel like that 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 lamb is not consenting. It does not look like. It's a <laughs> there, there, you know what? There is um there is yeah. a, a, a a classical sculpture which is pan. The God Pan, and, yeah, doing, uh -huh. you know, doing a goat from behind. Sorry, there's no other yeah. way to describe it. And, so uh, all, it what you're saying is he thing. held back. He held back a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> he held back. Actually, he held back. It, it was yeah. a statue they found in Pompeii, and actually, it was it was um, a Victorian men would pay to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, uh, we're, we're we're here to uh, the land is concerned. Is concerned for sure. yeah. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Yeah, I feel like yeah, I should yeah. I should tell the authorities uh of the of the farm it's a great about skull, that. though. Like we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give skull. you the benefit of the doubt for that. All right. Yeah, a, <laughs> super dope skull. Yeah, for sure. I, absolutely. I, I respect mine so I can come up with it and make that work. You made it work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So th this is gonna be the last one for today from uh DK Kashi. DK has been in stream earlier. So, oh, and Sid also says cute. that that last model was based off of a, uh, based on a novel. Oh, okay. okay. Right. Well, it's very cool. Very Super cool. cool. Yeah, no, it was cool piece. I like this piece. This is like a steampunk yeah. superhero thing going on. Yeah, this is nice. Yeah, big fan. Yeah, I like the, the, um, the, the design. I like the concept. Yeah. 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 There we go. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's fresh. How can I loot this? What'd you say? I want He's to looking it. to loop yeah, it. Yeah, you can't loop it, can you? Oh, you can't loop it? No. So am uh -huh. I the the only one that's looking at that cape going that it doesn't go with the motion? Yeah, I'd probably have it a, a bit more flowy. It looks like he's he's moving pretty good, so there should be some more air under it. It gets a little yeah. flat at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still, like, from this angle here, like, it's like a, like, you can see, like, it's kind of like, it looks like still blocked out it looks like a block it's you're blocking it out it doesn't match with the rest of the pieces it looks like a block out the, the, the cape yeah the i cape. feel like his i feel like his foot that he's putting all his weight on feels a little small to me mm. am i wrong you guys you guys see that like let it go for yeah. a little bit looks kind of like a kid foot to me mm. but also it's it's very difficult to keep that get that foot in that pose um in reality, you probably want the ball of your foot on the ground, and the heel will yeah. probably be. Uh, uh, you're, you're straight above, twisting you know, it at this point. Yeah. You're about to break yeah. it. It's yeah. breaking the ankle. Yeah, I would, I would have more of. I would have more of the weight on the toes actually, and have the, mm. that heel higher. Mm, definitely. Um, I find the the hat a little bit too straight. Like um, like there's no like there's weathering. No, there's detail there, but like um the actual shape is too simple like the shape yeah. of the brim like if you're you, you've got this kind of character and you'd probably have like there'd be a little kink in there or you know mm -hmm. but at the moment it's just very very straight very um simplistic yeah. and that's a little thing to do that's gonna that's gonna give you a lot of a lot of uh cachet to the piece if you just mm. give that that brim a little bit of a irregular shape to it yeah definitely over it all this is it's dope that's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that dude. That that arm that's in front of the gun, like that's. I'm not that's mad at nice that at action. all. No, that's a cool a piece. Nice action there. Yeah. Is this from something? I'd love to know if this is actually. It the name of it is Midnight Robber. Does it in the description? Does it say? Loosely based on one of the most well-known characters from traditional. I can't read that. Carnival, something kind of. Carnival. Yeah. My okay. intent here is to create a comic hero-esque style skull. Well, well done. You've done it. Yeah. 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 And by the way, DK is in chat. So um, any oh, additional comments you want to uh, drop on there, DK, um, to add a little flavor text to yeah. the to the model, please do so. Nice renders too. They look like BPRs, but I like the lighting on them. Yeah, some nice harsh lighting on that. It's cool. Mm -hmm. 
Well done. Yep, super dope. Yeah, right. Rick, yeah. Oh, yeah, look at the anatomy. There you go. Yeah, nice anatomy there as well. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Well done. All right. Yeah. DK says All he's right. uh, Trinidadian. Okay. Oh, okay. Trinidad. Oh, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, we got everybody, right? Yep, we got, we got everyone. <laughs> did it, you guys. Uh, wow. Did it. Wow. We we did it, guys. High fives. <laughs> High five. I like. Okay. okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. Can we just do this one and we'll be done with everything? I, I know we already looked at another. Yeah, yeah, right. could, yeah. This will this will completely finish this off, which is Brad, awesome. Brad, Brad, Beautiful Brad, piece. Boy. <laughs> it's still only one left. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, only one left. Who's who's this by? Um, this is from. Uh, let me scroll up. This is from Anastasi. Damn, I got it. Yeah, Boom. well done. Yeah, yeah. Nice Seventy-seventh <laughs> time is the yeah, charm. Only took me the whole damn stream, <laughs> but <laughs> no, exactly. Um, yeah, the, the, the one thing, it, everything is so good that my face automatically, my, my eyes automatically go to the face. I feel like the face maybe, uh, could use a little bit more love. Yeah, you've got a lovely expressive pose, but an inexpressive yeah. face. Right. So, um, yeah, you just need to, you need to put the face to match the pose really, you know, think, mm -hmm. and so figure out a pose, like even just, even just by moving the eyes. So it looks like she's looking somewhere, not just sort of dead straight, like a zombie, yeah. uh, the, which is what we're kind of getting at the moment. It might be, that's what it's, <laughs> that's what your intent was. Um, but if that, if that was the case and you would, you'd find some sort of expression with a mouth or, you know, mm -hmm. um, just that little bit of imperfection, just to just to, to, to go with the rest of the sculpt because it the rest of the sculpt is great. Yeah, I always find as as an illustrator as well, and James, you know this. Um, the the even if the the face is not angled toward the viewer, um, this is mostly the comment the comments I would get on box art for you know like Hasbro or something like that. Mm. But even if the face is angled away, you want those eyes to connect with the with the viewer, right? That's and if right. you do that. Yeah. You can have a very dynamic head pose and angle and still have a connection that that you know feels you know a little more personal i think yeah and, and just a little thing with the faces is that eyes move you know when the eyes move the face moves as well so um the top of the face moves so we, you've got all of these muscles that support your eye so when you look up look at how the orbit of the eye changes, not just the eye. So yeah. I see a lot of 3D artists sort of just changing, rotating the eyeball and then leaving it. Uh, that doesn't happen. If you observe people, you'll see their, their whole eye socket changes to where they're looking. And that's how you, as we sell the pose using contraposto and action lines with the body, we can do that with the face using those muscles. So that's a good tip for, for um, you know, I've got a book here actually. That's really good for that, and that is uh, anatomy of facial expression. I have that right. one too. I have yeah. that on. Your yeah, book. Son. Get it. That one too. Yeah. Get it. Awesome. Cool. I, I got the hard copy of the body, and I got the PDF of the thing. And I wish <laughs> Bradley likes Bradley likes PDFs. I wish I had the hard copy of the face. I'll tell you what I have got that's really, really good. I've got the Stonehouse Anatomy. I don't know if you guys have seen that. Uh, no, I've never seen that. Nope. Yeah, Stone, like, Stonehouse's like, Anatomy. It's very, very good. Go, can you get make it. That, make, I, need, I need the screen to be big. I need that. Like, make, fix that. Fix this. Stonehouse Anatomy. Stonehouse's Anatomy. Okay. Is that uh, is that available on Amazon? It is. I just I'm about, to, I'm about to get this purchase. I think right I now, bought homie. mine from Super. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. I bought mine from Super Annie actually. I think directly, but yeah, I don't know if it's. It wasn't available mm. on Amazon in UK. Yeah, so. it, it is available on on Amazon. Oh, okay. okay, cool. All right. I like the book. Thank yep. you, man. And Very by the way, Sid, Sid also mentioned uh, oh, that Sid used a. a a lot of sculpts from James as a reference for the piece. Oh, you stole my sculpt like the AI, did yeah. you? Right. <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's cool. Thanks, man. I appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. You right. got some great stuff, Sid. All right, guys. Uh, pencils up. James, you would have a $70 book. 
Yeah, I, I saw <laughs> so, that. I, I, at some I, point I, they I, all I, get to wait. Be. And it's it's is it is yours in uh, Korean? Is it in English? No, it's in English. It's in English. Oh man, but I have well, it might be a Korean. Well, it, so. like, but I mean, no, the it's one in, by Korean. The one on Amazon is in Korean. Is in Korean. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Does not so, have pictures? I mean, I think you'd be all right. Yeah, I, I think it. I think it'd be fine. Sure be okay. he, he's not. He's not reading the text. Um, but <laughs> thank you guys for, for everybody that's been on stream. This has been a, a, an amazing stream. You guys have made, made this a whole lot of fun for us from a, from a community standpoint, before we dip out, let's see where everybody left off on their, on their models. Um, okay. so Bradley, since you're already kind of sharing your screen, um, why don't we, why don't we start with you? Um, where did we leave off with your with your model for the day? So, so you guys know I'm off next week. I'm gonna be working on it a whole lot, so I should have it in pose and stuff by at least by the end of next week. But chains really uh, refined this piece a little bit more. Got a little more work to go go on it, but yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay. Hopefully, so you were you worked on the chains, the shoulder, the shoulder chain, pads, shoulder right? pads, little techno issues. Good thing I did a lot off stream <laughs> last week, but uh, I still have a little kid to sculpt because my pose will have like a little child in it. So, big things next week. I love All that right. belt buckle. That belt buckle is wicked. <laughs> yep. I I don't know why I feel like I can open a beer on it though. <laughs> yeah. yeah i still have to put another head on this side like it like yeah yeah it's looking good probably cool. um nice. what what about you james where where did we where did we end up with your with your i made some today? good progress uh, actually with the with the smoke I, i've kind of had this thing where it's coming out of the teeth as well which is i think that's gonna look pretty sweet but um yeah, I've, I'm pretty much where I wanted to be with, this, with the smoke. It's kind of a little bit fluid, but like smoky as well. Um, I, of course, had a problem with it being a bit too busy, but I think because it's darker and, and because I've kind of done the flat color and I can see where, um, you know, where, where all the, oh, I, can't, I can do that now, but um, where, where all the lights and the darks are, I don't think, I want the focus, of course, to be here. Which, mm -hmm. which it is. So that's the main thing. And then there's a bit of focus around, you know, the, these heads. And then, of course, you've got the light bit of uh, uh, Judge Death's helmet. I think it's going to work out. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy. Uh, next week, I will be doing probably the gun because she's got quite a cool gun and might do a bit of the gloves as well. All right. Great, man. Great job. Great work Thank you. on all of this. Thanks, man. Thanks. What about you, Mike? Where, where, where are we at with you? Yeah, I have. Uh, I got some more done to the wing and started detailing. This is kind of what it used to look like before. I didn't get an awful lot done, right? But I, I, I kind of dynamished it all together and started to detail what the wing is going to look like. Uh, I did manage to get the hands to feel a little bit more like hands than when That's I good. started. That's good. Right. Um, and did a little poly painting on them as well so um, that they're good to go. I feel like he's just about ready to throw into some type of a pose. Uh, so that is what I will do and start to, by, by week three or by week four, rather, I should, it, it should feel a little more like a composition and less, you know, just like a dude. You know? All right. Yeah, yeah no, so. looking, look, I'm loving the detail on the, on the wings. Right, like Thanks, that, that was really good. Yeah, was really I'm good. sure there was an easier way to do it, but you know. Well, I mean, in all better. fairness, you did do it more than once, so. Uh, <laughs> right, in all fairness, you did do it more than once. Um, so we're getting a, a, a couple of goodbyes, a couple of great streams. Um, guys, once again, we can only do this with your support. We really appreciate everybody's involvement. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and like the stream as we're exiting out. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, join the Discord. Let me, um, I'll drop another Discord link here at the end so that anybody who is interested in continuing the conversation, that is where the party is at during the week. So, um, guys, go ahead and join the community. And we appreciate everybody here. Um, all the feedback has been great. 
um, all your submissions so that we can continue to, to kind of critique them and, and work through this has been fantastic. Um, but with all of that stuff being said, um, any closing comments from either Brad, uh, Bradley, Mike, uh, or James? I just wanted to say if you are a viewer of ZBrush Live and you um, and you check me out over there, like I, like I said, it's going I will be back on there. I'm gonna bring Bradley and we're going to be a, a group over there. I really want to put all of my eggs in Stylist League because um, much like Bradley and Raul, uh, I, I believe in it a lot and I think that you know, um, Doing this stuff on Pixelogic has been great. It's helped me get exposure. I want to take that exposure and now kind of gear it towards the league and get new followers. So if you are in uh, in in any of those live streams, please just shout it out and and tell us about your experience. If you're a fan, if you like what we do, if you believe in what we do, like like we do, um, you know, just just kind of tell people so we can get folks to uh, make this our mainstream. And then when I go into the Pixelogic stream, uh, that's a secondary stream because right now it's uh, as far as numbers go. Um, you know, obviously uh, we do better for for ZBrush, and I'd like to bring that over to us because that means we have more resources to give you better stuff. Yeah, Bradley. And what, one last thing, even before Bradley goes, again, happy birthday, Bradley. Happy birthday, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you thank you, um, thank you. Thank you. dk bradley's art station is in the uh, is in the description and also so, link it there. yeah there's yeah a, we have our links up above so if you look at brad the waltzes i posted on there so yeah I, I, i've leveled a few levels since then there, there you go. All right, guys. With all that being said, thank you guys for joining us on our you, special James. Saturday streams. Thank you, yeah, James, thank you, James W. Kane, uh, assistant art director of X. Sir James, Studios. Sir James, Sir a gentleman James. and a scholar. Also, <laughs> Sir, Thanks, uh, Sir James, uh, one eye. That's right. Um, th thank you very much. Uh, and uh, weekend, we'll guys. catch you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. Cheers, right? guys. Bye. Cheers. Cheers. Bye.